Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another horrific game. Tonight, I'm joined once again by the fine folks at Brotherhood of the Dice and Infinite Monkey Tales as we take part in the next session of the Draconis Strain Trilogy, an alien RPG created by Free League Games. Before I hand you over to our host, I would just like to remind you to show your support to our guest streamers by subscribing to their platforms and following their works. Links are in the chat and description. And with that being said, I hand you over to the game mother. For a little recap. For a little recap, yes. Good evening. So, uh, so where do we leave it? So, um, on the last session, you had uh, finally tracked down one of the missing AWOL Marines, um, Reese, who was the um, who was the communications officer. Um, you tracked him down to uh, the Marshall Station in uh, in the colony. Uh, but by the time you got there. When you finally got to see him in his cell, he was already dead. His chest torn open from the inside. Um, shortly after discovering uh, discovering he was dead, Sergeant Hammer and Mason were attacked by a large bio um, a, 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 a large creature, alien creature, bio, almost biomechanical in nature. Um, but as luckily, you were able to prevail and, and defeated it. And also, this prompted Mason to relate a previous encounter with these, with some of these creatures, on uh, on a uh, on a previous mission, uh, which I believe you were the only survivor. Uh that's correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I may have um, been a wee bit of a coward at the end and went wibble and ran, but I didn't mention that. But I don't think. Uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I don't think you did. No, no, no. Um, meanwhile, cats out of the bag. <laughs> so, meanwhile, um, the um, the team, the squad's um, synthetic chaplain, while everybody was uh, distracted discussing what to do next, he went and torched, just incinerated the body of the alien mm -hmm. with uh, without um, Without sort of prior orders to do that, or at least he, he, he at least he claimed he was following orders. Mm. Um, so Chaplin had also been scouring the communication um, systems in the in the Marshall Station, and he had uncovered. Um, reports of someone cut by the name of Emery Botos, who was an ex marine. Um, had an honourable discharge, and he returned. He was native to, or rather, he, he returned to Arrakis, which were which used to be his home, um, and then promptly disappeared three about three years ago. But he is being rumoured to have uh, rumoured to have become um, a leader of the local insurgents that plague Arrakis. Um, no, what else is there too? Oh, also, uh, Chaplin also discovered a um, a hidden hidden coded transmission in the communications, um, in the communications chatter that he was able to decode, and it said it was constantly repeating message that said awaiting package delivery. So there was another person in the Marshall Station as well, um, who you'd been, uh, who you were tracking, uh, who you were trying to track down as well. It was uh, who you suspect 
of being involved with the insurgents, a certain Ivan Stolls, and by, as, as luck would have it, as well as Reese being at the Marshall Station, Ivan Stolls was here as well. And after a little bit of uh, interrogation involving involving um, his belt. He smelled the leather. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Smell the belt. Um, you, you learned that um, <laughs> that uh, Stolls was kind of a, or at least a, a, how he tells it, he's a kind of an in-between between, between um, uh, for the insurgents. You know, we got, got them supplies, got them, they got them th this thing, this, th uh, that, and another. Uh, but he also arranged a meeting with this um, Botos character between mm. uh, between Botos and the four Air War Marines. But yeah. apparently, this meeting went a little bit sour. Yeah. Um, and the Marines, or at least some of the Marines, went their went their s separate ways. Uh, Reese, it turns out. He got incredibly drunk and ended up, which is how he ended up at the Marshall Station. He got arrested mm -hmm. for being drunk and disorderly. Um, Kavalas and Wojcik, they apparently um, were last seen heading to um, the Roco, San Rocco Medical Facility. Um, and as for Wright, the... Um, the probably the most the more experienced most experienced of the of the marines of the missing marines who's like a uh, a sharpshooter with a uh, quite a long list of kills she's the only one who hasn't um, who seems to have, seems to have pretty much gone to ground there's been no sightings of her at all um so you turned up at the medical center uh, bringing along the corpse of Reese uh, who you were hoping to stash in uh, in the morgue at the, at the medical facility? Um, on turn up at the medical facility, which is worth probably worth noting, the communications um, had gone dead or had gone quiet from the medical facility. Yeah. Although that turned out to be nothing sinister per se. It was more a case of that the the centre is operating on a, a skeleton staff at best. It's probably only maybe half a dozen staff. In the entire facility, the rest out on on various uh, answering various call outs. Yeah, um, by insurgents on way there as well, didn't we? you? Did yes, that's yes, good yeah. point. Yes, so you were you were ambushed by some insurgents en route who you uh, you managed to deal with. Uh -huh. um, so at the at the facility, there was a little bit of a um, some kind of incident going off in some of the uh, in one of the wards. And Chaplin, the synthetic, and Iona and Sergeant Iona, they they went off to they got sent off to see what was going off over there. Um, Private Minsky, um, <laughs> um, he he's still he's still I think he's on I think he's just on guard. Was well, in the entrance, yeah, yeah. While um, Dante, Private Dante. Um, excuse me no you're mason oh mason sorry anything. <laughs> <laughs> private private dante who's been complaining of uh of like uh, indigestion and back pain um mason gunnery sergeant mason and private um private hammer uh are all all went to find dr it then is it? It was called. I think it's called it. Look, Litvin, Doctor Litvin, who was attending to um, to Cavallo, Private Pro Cavallo, that was still here, still apparently still present at the medical facility. Um, and I guess it's, it's. I guess we can pick it pick it up there. So, um, with I think we'll give. I'll I'll, I'll re rehash Mister the Doctor's speech. And to to take it from there, I think. Okay. I can just uh, find my spot. Where are we? On the east side. You yeah, on the east side. Okay. Um. Right. So. So Doctor Litvin was found inside one of the inside this um. 
uh, inside this uh, this ward, this quarantine ward. Um, we've got Cavello sedated on one of them on one of the medi uh, medi. Um, I forgot what they're called. The medi beds, medi beds. The auto docks, uh, and he was attempting to remove a parasite that he discovered uh, inside inside Cavello's chest. No, so, so Dr. Litvin uh, was able to confirm that both Wojcik and the severely beaten Cavello had checked in here at the, at the hospital last night, but Wojcik had disappeared after her blood tests had been taken. <clears throat> um, and when Litvin, Dr. Litvin scanned um, Scan Cavello, we discovered this this creature growing in growing in the private's chest, and the and the private had feverishly begged him to remove it, but stressed that he didn't want uh, the doctor to inform the authorities. So Litvin had agreed, but he couldn't find any any feasible way to remove it without killing him, without killing the uh, the host. Mm. And as but as he looked deeper into Warchick's scans and blood work that came back, he found something far more disturbing. Something, things squirming, some unidentified microorganisms that were infested, that had infested um, uh, Warchick's blood. They were squirming and evolving, it like just right before his eyes, evolving and changing at an alarming rate. So while Cavallo's blood had elevated white blood cells, he was otherwise fine. Um, and the alien, the thing inside him, wasn't vastly different um, biology-wise, in layman's terms. Um, while inside Warchick, the thing, this, this infection of her blood was superseding her biology, overwriting her DNA, turning her into something else. Mm. And the doctor made a point of stressing, although you seem to, your, your focus, particularly uh, Mason's focus was on securing Cavello, the doctor was insistent that Warchick was, the, was of great concern, um, that she was becoming something else he was this this infection that was overwriting her dna was turning her into turning her into something else into a monster and that he had before she disappeared he'd found evidence of um venom venom sacs that were starting to develop where the tonsils were located and that she could spread this inve infection with a venomous bite, and that, that yeah, he's yes, continually stressed as the argument raged between uh, between the the four of you. He continually stressed that Ro Warchick was the was the one was the major threat. Mm. Um, yeah. So, uh, and aside from that, he's just he wanted to. He voiced the opinion that they should that you should get um, Cavello into a cryo chamber on the on the Monaham, but of course you uh, you had to inform him that the Monaham has been disabled due to a terrorist attack. Yeah, got blown up. He got blown up. Well, you get blown. Up. It it was disabled. I think it was the landing shot or something went. Uh, it wasn't actually the full ship. No, yeah, yeah, it was just yeah, just it it was basically yeah disabled. When when somebody um, somebody blew themselves up, didn't they? Taking mm -hmm. taking out part of the part you know, part of the landing gear and part of the engine, as well as lots of civilians. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so I believe so. We le we start where everybody, or rather, Dante, Mason, and F Hammer are speaking with Doctor Litvin in the in this ward in this quarantine ward. Yeah, I don't think are the right tokens. Is that a different board you've put up? 
Oh, you got the um. Wait, what do you mean? I'm the or or I can't even move my token. Do you not? I think this is you at the top, isn't it? Number four. So that that's uh, that's Dante, that's Ooh. Mason, that's Hammer. That's oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's, there's there two go. Dantes. Was that another Dante under there? <laughs> oh no, no. My Sorry. God, he's twins. <laughs> it's just, it's just Never have weird many Dantes. Uh, so is you there know, are they, how we can get? Are there any questions before we proceed? There is somebody else there that was under me. Oh, it's Captain Silver. Yes, Captain Silver's there as well. Yes, it's me. <laughs> That's right, because you all um, were having a discussion how to deal with us, patient, and you yes. were deciding my course of action was not the right one for some reason. Yeah. I can't remember. Dissension in the ranks. Yeah, so so, um, so May, I think Mason was advocating like uh, just offing Cavallo. <laughs> yeah, but we, know we know what that thing is. Yeah. We'll do one another one. So, so where is Wachi? The doctor was um, saying how this is hermetically sealed and he can't get out. He did, right. yeah. So nobody knows where Wachik is. So Wachik was ha was was here at the medical facility last night, but then yeah. and then she wasn't. She just left. Right. How does she just leave? I mean, somebody. There's got to be cameras. I mean, you can't just you can't just leave a medical facility. Not if you're being checked out, right? I mean, how does she leave? That doesn't make sense. You kind of there's no one on the front desk like there wasn't when we arrived. Well, there's got to be cameras, right? Is there a security office? Have we thought to check that? You can. Uh, so the doctor says you can, by all means, you can check the cameras at the front desk. But uh, I imagine all the all they'll show you is the. Is the uh, the marine just uh, is watching just leaving the building? Yeah, she Nobody wasn't. Even... She wasn't. She wasn't here under. She wasn't confined. Oh, they came here of their own of their own free will. Well, that seems maybe happens at the meetup point at the factory. Question is, we know what's coming out of. Here. We know um, this guy's dead. No f bots or maybe's. So don't, don't, don't it, I, I'll I stress again that this man, it might be possible to save this man if we can just get him into cryo and freeze him. We can get him back to a, a, a facility that's more better equipped than this one. Are there then, other cryo facilities you know about? I was hoping to get him on the cryo of the Monaham. Yeah, of the medical, of the medical ship, but I must admit I'm I'm at a loss. We have no cryo facilities here. Well, doctor, I'm on your side. If we could have froze him, then that's fine. But the the fact is that we're looking at a situation where we haven't got that option. So, I I can't see what else we can do. It's a hazardous biological substance isn't it it's, it's, it's not it's not a substance it's a, it's a creature in his chest some kind of parasite Protect so at him. this at this point there is um the, an alarm starts sounding inside the quarantine from the from the auto dock um and looking over you see the um the canopy opens up Right. And Caval and Cavallo, sort of in almost like a drunken state, sort of almost like falls off the bed, sort of st steadying himself with his hand against the side of the auto dock. And the doctor, because what, what, he, he shouldn't be up and about. The I, I sedated him, he said, enough to put a horse down. He's, this is enough for me to unlimber Sarah Jane. Yeah, and I sort of <laughs> get my rifle at the ready. Um, I sort of I tap the door with uh, the rifle. Go, how strong are these things? They're strong because they're quarantine. The quarantine yeah. zones. Yeah, yeah, but I mean against physical, not not biological, but physical brute force. 
well, it uh, remains to be seen. Well, I don't I want to remain to be seen. I want it. Uh, I want this. You, uh, before we get to the remain to be seen part, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, yeah. That was the whole point of. Um, yeah, they're, they're, meant, they're, meant to, they're meant to be impregnable to to protect uh, to protect against infection. Is uh, I I I, I'm, I doubt even your even your pulse rifles would be able to. How thick does the window look? What it looks a few inches thick. And he can hear it. No, I, I, I won't let this happen. And he sort of staggers over to to one the um, to one the tables and fumbling around, he pulls a scalpel and just like jams it into his chest, just below just below his breastbone. And screaming, he drags the blade all the way down to his wow. navel. Wow. Um. Watch the doctor. Don't let him anywhere near that door. Uh, I will shoot the doctor if he attempts to open that door, sir. Yeah. So th you got to let me. You can't I let me sit. Uh, and as the as he as Cavallo like pulls his scalpel all the way, like all the way down to his navel, his his stomach opens up and his his intestines just spit, fall out onto the floor. And as he collapses to his knees, he's shoving, he starts shoving his hands up inside his rib cage. You don't know how he's managing to stay stay conscious. Wow. No, I, I won't die. And, and then he just pulls something. Looks like this um like this fleshy sack. sack. Ambient, yeah, exactly that exact thing that I couldn't think of remember the word. And it uh, with the last of his strength, he like pulls this out and it splashes across the floor and he collapses in this like pool of his own blood and you can all take a stress yeah oh yeah I think it was, it was very straight when you was gonna happen it was very stressed <laughs> did we get stressed from this last time oh yes don't put it on yes don't put it on because you did get stressed from this last time that's uh that is was correct this, was, we're still in still kind of recap it is still kind of recap this bit yeah I did say yeah. I'm gonna pick it up from this bit Okay. So yeah. So wait, should I take away the stress I just added? Yeah, yeah, take it away. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, we oh. did add it last time. Wow. Like Mr. Yeah. Floyd rightly says, this is still that was a still essentially a bit of recap, I guess. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm in <mean>, notes. <laughs> <laughs> Where were you yeah. five minutes ago? I know. <laughs> right. Um, wow. Obviously, uh, I've got the pulse rifle by the door. I'm just like just waiting for this thing to start moving. Uh, okay, sir. Do you think this thing will hold? Um, we're not opening this door. Well, no, we're that. not opening this door. But yes, he, he's he's clearly dead. He's killed himself. But are there yeah? Are there decontamination procedures for the room? Is there do like a, a do we have an incident biological suppressant gas or something like that? You need to activate. Uh, it's just, it's, 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 these quarantine rooms, they're, they're hermetically safe. They can't, there's nothing can get in or out right. unless we actually open the door. If there is like an, an a spread, a release of something, is there? There, there are some decontamination um, procedures because that can be enacted, but uh, I fail to see how this would. It's more, more a case of uh, if a um, an infection. Yeah, there is a parasite in there. It's now been pulled out of its body. We don't know if it's going to survive. You should probably activate those decontamination sequences. Probably something with fire. Oh, well, I'm afraid it's not. It's uh, so. So yeah, he, he goes over to like um, like uh, the control panel by the door and starts starts punching in a code. And there is a warning siren goes off inside. There's some flashing lights and all these jets of gas. Uh, ejected into like ejected into the room, completely filling the room in just a few few seconds, almost like like well, almost like it looks like a, like fire extinguishers. Yeah, that's what we need now. Just uh, being concealed. Well, whilst that's happening, I'll uh, get on the radio to Zmijewski. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, how <are> that? <laughs> I still think we should. Call it was it. great, but. Absolutely wrong. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I get on the radio uh, and say uh, that we've got a confirmed 
confirmed outbreak. Um, yeah, we've got we encountered one of the AWOLs. Um, the the deceased they've suicided and they were infected by something. The, there's another okay. one out there. Is uh, this of a general? Out? Is this of a general comms on the suit then? It, on yeah, your, on our on your... comms. Yeah, on our yeah. comms. Okay, so yeah, chaplain. Uh, Roger that, Captain Silver. I'll, I'll be right there. This means we're moving uh, out, Captain. Right, okay. When he when he does that, I'll cover my mic and I'll look to Mason and say, "I'm not entirely sure we should be letting Chaplin touch this." <laughs> yeah. After, uh, after last time, sir, uh, we don't want this door opened. I agree. And I do not trust this doctor or chaplain at the moment because he's, uh, I don't know what's going on with him unless he's acting on other orders. I mean, we can't, we can't keep this room sealed forever. What if there's somebody else who needs to be quarantined? Like, we have to trust the process, right? I'm, I'm sure that nothing biological survived that decontamination. Um, I, these things are... <laughs> I just sort of stir off into space, you know, mm. with memories flooding back. <laughs> I'm like, what are we? These things with? will survive a lot. What we are we won't. dealing with, Mason? They, they, are they? Can they survive? It looks like he ripped it out as a as an embryo. It, surely an embryo can't survive outside of an horse. When he ripped it out, Phil, did he like? Was he like stabbing it or anything? Or he just no. ripped it out? They just ripped it out. Well, that's obviously this gas won't stay. that will get cleared, won't it? There's uh, obviously an extraction van. Yeah. After I, it. Yeah. Right. Well, what we're not doing is opening the door with that gas please, while there's no please, visibility. Please, sir. Please, sir. There can't be an extraction van. It's hermetically sealed. It's airtight. Yeah. Well, it's got to go somewhere, hasn't it? The gas is to. Yeah, it has to be in there. Yeah, there'll, there'll be there'll, there'll be some. Yeah, it's hermetic, but there'll be there'll be some like kind of filtration system and stuff like that. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. However. The, the doctor is far more qualified at this than we are, but I agree. The door stays shut until we've got adequate staff to deal with it. That Almost dealing with it is not our job. Our job is finding the A-walls, um, but making sure that there isn't an outbreak at the same time. Yeah, we saw what happened at the marshals, sir. I agree. If gets out, it's going to be a lot of dead stand. people if it's if it's and still alive. And that's why I seem I tend to agree with the doctor that we need to find Wochi. So, chap, at this point, Chaplin appears at the door. And says, says, "Captain Silver, uh, do you require my assistance?" No, uh, no, we don't. the The room is sealed. Um, it needs to stay that way. The doctor's got it in hand. That isn't that right, doctor? Uh, it's, 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 yes, it's, there's no way anything's anything like yeah, anything's coming out of there. They, uh, and at that point, you hear you hear this kind of muffled. I mean, the sound from inside the room is obviously muffled to a certain degree, mm. uh, but you hear this clattering noise. And as the gases slowly start to dis uh, slowly start to disperse, you see you see a blur of movement. And something knocks over uh, one of the one of the equipment stands, one of the uh, that's kept with all the scalpels and medical equipment on, and just like it just clatters to the floor, and you can see something something small about the size of a, a cat or a small dog just dart off into the far corner. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that's like. Well, sir, it looks like it survived. Jesus Christ. What can it survive that? Is there what anything that no, no, either you be. or Chaplin knows that we need to know now? All I know, sir, is if that thing gets out, we're dead. Like, we were lucky. We were lucky at the Marshall Station. And that's, <laughs> thankfully, it's not fully grown yet, but if that's, um, they're fast, once that thing's fully grown, I really don't well, know what to do. 
if we open that store, we're, there's going to be dead people. Can we should have we should have took out. Okay. We should have taken out. Can we bottom. just kill it? Can we just open the door and kill it? Why are we waiting? Because this thing's fast. It's yeah, it's, it's fast and it's dangerous. So well, they, it's they, dark they in there. Does it need food? Do we know anything? What doc? Did the doctor figure out anything from his examination? The doctor appears to be a bit of an idiot. So uh, uh, I'm. Uh, I'm right here. I'm in. I'm in the. I mean, yeah, I'm right here. I'm in. I'm in the dark. I. I don't. I'm. I know not next to nothing. It seems that you. That's need know I, more I, about these creatures than than anybody else here. I mean, he goes over to the door and starts punching, starts punching a code, uh, a code oh, into the. I the blood stroke him immediately. I just. I'm, 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 lo I'm looking at it this way. It's Says I'm locking the door. I'm sealing it. It's trapped in the corner, He's, and I know uh, the fact that one he gets of the stroke is and the right was pointed at him. I like. I'm sealing the door. Movement, and you are dead. Do you understand me? He's I mean, it's, doctor, it's He's, it's okay. Tell me what I need to do to seal the door. I uh, it the it tells you to we're like punching like a serial, like a code into the door and then and that'll lock that'll lock it down. It can't be it won't be able to um nobody will to open it without the override code. So as I, I go to I, enter it, do I get to make up the code myself or is he telling me there's a specific Yeah, it, code? yeah it tells you a code, yeah. I'll can I chat can one. I like as I'm looking at this, can I enter it but then also change it so that only I know the code? Um, no, it has to be. You try trying to do that, it doesn't, it doesn't accept it. Okay, well, at least I can seal it. Yeah, who else knows uh, this code, doctor? Who has the authorization to unseal this door? Oh, uh, well, only, only uh, senior, senior staff, but I'm the only senior staff um, on duty. Well, I think you can tell from how my uh, superiors are reacting to you. It would be a bad idea if you unsealed this door. I have no intention of unsealing it. Uh, this, uh, that, that's the last thing on my mind. I can assure you. I, I shall. I shall make sure this. Um, everybody knows to. To leave it, untouched. Chaplain, are the outside of the door still? Uh, yeah, they do appear to be uh, yeah some kind of metal alloy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you could possibly weld it. Sure, yeah, but it's uh, it doesn't look like it's um, th these you know you know these quarantine these quarantine uh, rooms are, are pretty are pretty yeah. solid. I know they're robust, but I don't trust. Like this this doctor just barged past me with without even a word. You're like this this doctor's an idiot, and honestly, I think maybe putting a bullet in its head in their head might just be the safest bet right now because I do not trust them. Their arrogance is. Um, Does that count as shooting his innocence, and do I get to punch it? I've decided I'm going to take your attitude. Draw a gun on an innocent, and I will kill you. <laughs> yeah, we, we don't have to shoot anybody right here. Now. The door is sealed. If you want me to weld it shut, sir, I can. I can weld it. I've got a no. cutting torch. Excuse me, no. you shot me twice. At some point, we're going to have to get in there, Chaplin. What is we've got Wayland's what is Wayland Yutani's capabilities in these kind of things? Do they have specialist teams? Well, that seems a reasonable assumption, sir, but um I'm not um I'm not uh, fully aware. I'm not versed in, in Wayland Yutani's um procedures in such matters. I am. Um, then why did he destroy the last sample? Shall we call it? I I thought I was following orders. Um, so, but so therefore, someone must private. have given you those orders. The major hammer, uh, ma the major gave us those orders. I believe private hammer. And let I um, let me remind you that I am your superior officer. Right. I'm just I'm just asking the question that you know the officers should be asking if they were capable. And let me remind you, not. Private Hammer, of your rank. Hammer, buddy, right. leave it for now. Come I'm, on. I'm being I'm being all about by a coffee pot. <coughs> and I cough. And Everybody, I'm just calm down. Have a really gonna... nasty face yeah. on my face right. as I swallow and stretch my back. 
There's a there's Look, a time bomb guys, out in this city. Can there's we a go, time can bomb we... out in this colony here. We're wasting time and potentially risking lives here. The what door is sealed. Do... Don't we need to look for this woe check? Yes, that's what exactly what I'm saying. I'm gonna call him Wayland Utani, call the major, get the specialist team down here, and we get out there and start looking. All right, so take a remote and up then. Yeah. We'll do that. Doctor, I think you need to either evacuate as much of this hospital as you can or We shift. can't evacuate the hospital. This is the only medical facility that's in operation. What about shifting some of the patients to the other wing? I will close off this section of the of the of the hospital. I think it, it needs it. I really do. I can assure you I have no intention of letting this thing out. Despite this soldier's misapprehensions about me, I, I can assure you that uh, I, have, I have no intention of putting anybody at risk. Good enough, because if that, if that quarantine room does get open prematurely, we'll know who did it. No one can open that room unless another senior surgeon from the facility puts in the code, and I am the only one on shift. As far as I know, I'm the only one left in the colony. Good enough. Right. Try and phone the major. Try and get the major on the arm. Right, sir. So we'll start prepping the move then. While you're yeah. doing it. Right, okay. So we'll start shift night. So what are you doing? Returning to the APC? Turn to the I APC and so. then we'll get moving. Uh, before we leave the doctor, I'm like, uh, Doc, you got, you got anything for indigestion? Mm. I got... It's bad. This is... Um... Says, yes, I can. I, I can give you something for that. Is, uh, is, when did this? Uh, when did this start happening? Is it, um... Oh, it's it's fine. It it happens. It's it's no big deal. <clears throat> uh, really it's, it's, keep me going. It, it, it's just just follow me through to the. If you come come with me through to the wards, I'll be able to get you something from the uh, from the pharmacy. Okay. So the rest of you um, heading off to the APC. I'll be right yeah. there. Mm -hmm. uh, as we're going, I'm like, Sir, when did he start getting indigestion? I, I have no idea. <laughs> Can, when was he? When was he on his own? I don't. Well, there's been a couple of times when he's been in the APC, but the. The private stresses me the fuck out, so as so long as he's out of my air, I'm not too bothered right now. It's been a stressful <laughs> fucking day. No, appreciate that, sir. Uh, especially when there's like eight feet monsters living inside people, first a night. And... What, you think he... I can't see how he's been infected. He hasn't... He's not, he's not been around anything. I... I th it was uh, hammering yourself, wasn't it? It dealt with the other one, Sergeant. Uh, so, Sergeant, I, I own this book. So it's, uh, uh, Captain, you want me? Do you want me to get the APC started, uh, warmed up, and get the get the major on the horn? Yes, I think that's the best way. It's good. Well, I to do. And, he, and, he, and she runs. She runs off. She says, "I'll I'll, I'll get it started." It's, um, it's getting, it's getting a little bit more tetchy. The weather's not helping. No, I agree. Keep and it running. Yeah, she, so she, she runs off. What we Both need to do is, is figure out where Warcheck went. There's an entire colony. Yeah, I think, sir, there's a good chance he's went for the meeting point. Probably trying to complete the mission. Yeah. Um, obviously, sir, how do you want to deal with them if he's we've infected, the, as the doctor we've got, said? We got the thing off off the informant, didn't we? We got the rendezvous point off the informant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a factory. Old, yeah. The old oil refinery. <clears throat> old oil refinery. Yeah. That sounds about right, yeah. So we've got a mission. 
I, th- I think it is a case of that. Is there anything we're missing? Uh, Chaplain, sir, do, do you want me to check the key, the um, the medical facilities records, sir? Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah. See. Okay, so so without another word, is your uh, chaplain just turns and walks off? Mm. I have a quick question. Looking at the map, and since I haven't played this, um, mm-hmm. okay, it, the planet is it? Uh, does it have? I, I hear you talking about weather. I see viewports outside, uh, and it looks like there's airlocks. Does the planet have atmosphere, or is it kind of like? We're trying it, to terraform. Uh, no, it, it does have an atmosphere. It's um, it's very, it's like an Arctic planet. Yeah. It's, well, it's, it's actually, it's not actually a planet. It's a, it's a moon that orbits yeah. a gas that, uh, that's orbiting a gas giant. But yeah, it's got, um, it's so it's got an Arctic climate, and there is, uh, the temperatures have dropped re- dramatically recently because there's a blizzard hit the colony as well. So yeah. temperatures are well below freezing outside. So being outside. Uh, unprotected outside for any prolonged period is uh, is detrimental to your health. Gotcha. Yeah. And these these colonists were trying to were going out, but then they've uh, they've had a cease order, and they they've blockaded it and said no, nobody's going off now. So a lot of these colonists are annoyed, which is why they went to like a ship at airport to get off. But these insurgents have detonated a bomb at the ship. Yeah, so so about half the it's a, a there's only half of the colonists. Well, less than half the colonists. I think there are about ten thousand colonists on the uh, on this um, this oil because it was an oil mining planet or moon. And there's um, but when the military took it over, it kind of died. And most people most people left. Oh, well over half the colonists. The inhabitants have left, like of a like about two years ago. Mm. There's only a few, kind of, uh, just a, maybe a couple of thousand colonists left um, that work uh, that are now employed by the military to because um, it's uh, to uh, it, it basically works as a refueling station for the for the military for military ships. Sure. All right, well, but I assume the um, doctor hooks me up with some medications. Yes, he does indeed. You see. Yeah. So um, he, offers to, he offers to examine you. Do you want to uh, let him examine you? <laughs> I, I don't know if I have time for that, dog. It's just a little heartburn. So as well, if, um, if, you get a, if, if you find you have time, it's... Um, we're here to help. All right. Well, I mean, I appreciate it. I, I'm uh, just sure just take a look after. Just take one of these every two hours. It should uh, should help uh, should help subside the any acid buildup. Okay. Appreciate that. Uh, we have a backup prescription flamethrower in case it gets worse. <laughs> 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 Okay, so Zinski, jet ski, um, jet ski. Yeah, I started calling him jet ski because <laughs> oh yeah, so yeah, is it, nobody can pronounce uh, like a running joke. Nobody can pronounce the jet ski's <laughs> sure. uh, name, and it really, really, really rubs him up the wrong way. <laughs> um, I think, I think of this uh, squad as the dirty dozen. I think that's what we came to the conclusion. <laughs> yeah, expendable. So, <laughs> they were actually like you know capable of doing what they went to do. So Chaplin, uh, so Chaplin comes into the uh, into the reception mm-hmm. and starts. Um, we we kind of like nods, nods at you, acknowledges your presence, but just just sits, pulls up a chair, and sits in front of the console and starts tapping away. What are you fucking doing? Captain Silver has asked me to check on uh, the records here at the medical facility. Is everything all right, Private? Yeah. Dead quiet. Yeah. And I go and stand behind him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, he's he's yeah, he's his his typing skills are way beyond you know, he's, he's like way faster than anything that uh, that you could keep up with. It's, it's, 
so it's a bit it's a little bit hard to to keep up with what he's doing is like so yeah. you think I'm not really I'm not really on the screen. Yeah. Keeping yeah, up with that. I just yeah, I just standing behind him. Um you just yeah. been that uh, annoying person in the office that does that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 So that's two of these treacherous bastards down then. It would seem so. We still need to locate um we still need to locate Wojcik. I suspect the captain will be directing us towards the old refinery. That's why I said we should have gone in the first place. Indeed. I'm just going to nod at that. What are you looking for? I'm not sure. Private. Um, I should imagine, so out uh, of the rest of you heading out, aren't so, so I imagine at this probably at this point, the, the rest of you um, arrive at the reception. We shall say, yep. And uh, obviously, I know Sergeant Silver tried messaging or uh, radio, so just say, Yeah, Sergeant Silver, go ahead, start the APC up. We're leaving. Shortly, Iona yeah. or Iona, sorry, <laughs> demoting your own <laughs> captain. <laughs> no, uh, Iona in the APC. Oh, sorry. yeah, yes, good. <laughs> sorry, it's been a while, and it has... is not. <laughs> I'm playing a different uh... game. <laughs> <laughs> if we're waiting for Chaplin to work on the the console. I'm gonna head over to uh, one of the couches and uh, stretch my back. Uh, have a seat. Okay. <laughs> so Chaplin looks up and a captain. This this may take some time. How long? Um, unsure, sir. I'm. Not 100% sure what I'm looking for, but uh, I'm sure it will jump out. You haven't got <laughs> enough time to sit around and wait. I'm happy to conduct um, conduct the search while you proceed to the refinery, sir. Hell yeah, let's go. <sighs> I'll, look I'll at, make my way to the door. I'll look at Mason, kind of like... Physically, like I'm not sure about this. Yeah, but... I haven't really much choice. We can. All right. Have the player as the players out. We get, we've done all we can. We need to complete the mission, sir. Yeah. Fine. Fine. Give us a shout as soon as you hear anything. Of course, Captain. Of course. Why don't we just go to Fort Nebraska and get more help? Uh, they, we are the help. That's the problem. Sorry, that's been for more help. <laughs> Don't worry, Dante. When you're uh, when you're pulling guard duty, at Fiora uh, three one one, you won't worry about it. This is also a bad that. dream. Sort of tap the data pad. Great. Those orders yeah. are still pending, and depending on attitude. Wonderful to hear. Thank you, sir. Don't call me, sir. I work for a living. <laughs> call him Miss, like the rest of us. <coughs> Man. Right, yo. So you return to the APC, yes? Yep. Yeah, returning to APC, yeah. And and leaving Chaplin behind. Okay. Yeah, Regret you've kind of been railroading like... us in that, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> shall, my, shall we? <laughs> right, right. I take my yeah. helmet off, rip a few pieces of paper. Let's have a sweepstake. How long it's going to be before he lets that thing out? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. Because <laughs> we we've totally the doctor. We have, totally, we have he said totally, he would. We have totally got an incinerator. <laughs> All we have to do is crack that door open half an inch and flame everything. Yeah, I don't. Not I mean. I love you, Amber, but I don't know if that's the right. I, from looking at how everybody's reacting to this thing, I don't know if that's uh, going to be enough. He's just uh, cocky because he headbutted it. 
last <laughs> one. No, I have got the last one. This is why yeah, I'm that's making okay. a necklace. Sorry, I this, is, yeah. this, is, this is why I'm making a necklace. Out he thinks teeth. that's a norm. He thinks that <laughs> the head Xenomorphs is a norm. <laughs> you get away with that shit. <laughs> I'm the only member of this squad who went close combat with one. I think you're the only member the of the entire alien universe. The universe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's been yeah. the proper combat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, it was nothing. <coughs> Why are you all so scared of this thing? You seem to forget that it was using you as a plaything for a while. I thought you were soldiers, not cowards. <laughs> right, <laughs> so yeah, we're calling. Your mummy's out there waiting for you with a tit all ready for you. <laughs> <laughs> so, Iona, Sign Iona, she finds she by the time you got out, get out to the APC, she's managed to get it. To um, manage to get it to um, it going again. Lovely. Contacting Fort Nebraska. Okay, and as she pulls her uh, pulls away, pulls back onto, uh, pulls out from the uh, from the facility back onto Highway Five, and heading north east. Yeah, we're at towards the, the oil fields. Oh. Yeah, you're, you're here. Yeah. 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 So the old refinery, the old oil refinery is up here. Right. Okay. Yeah. So what are we going to take? Four over to two, then up to the oil refinery. So if that's the way you're calling it, uh, Dante, I'll take that. That's the route I'll take. Sirs? Just having a look. Where's the yeah, where's the oil refinery? Where uh, oil refinery? Is it yeah. North, uh, northeast. The, the weather's bad enough. The weather's bad enough. I say we stick to the main <clears throat> highways. It might mean that we we come across more insurgents. So, Amma, we need you on the uh, the big gun. Well, really, there, sir. Okay. So, yeah, are you doesn't, still... Doesn't ride shock on, he rides pulse cannon. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, pulse cannon! <laughs> I uh, surreptitiously take one of the, the pills the doctor gave me and take a swig from my canteen. Yeah, that's the point. I'll uh, get a smoke out while we're here. <laughs> Light it and try and calm down a bit and try and forget what this awful sight was that we saw and somebody okay. looking insides out so so we got as as we're driving i i just chit chat so we got we got a big ugly thing that that hammer had butted good job buddy uh i shout out the, the coppola um or wherever his station is we got a little cat-looking thing, and now we got to worry about some weird, like, microbes in this lady's blood. What is going on down here? Well, it's looking like they've stolen uh, the AWOLs, they've stolen a biological weapon. Three separate ones? It looks like it. It's some sort of... Yeah. They've, they've, raided, they've obviously raided this place and taken what they can. Well, they do. They fucking smuggle it out inside themselves. Are these guys crazy? Seem like it. It's it's five shades of fucked up, but the the woman at Wayland Yutani it seems more qualified to deal with it than us. I think we stick to the mission, which is you know coincides with that, isn't it? Our priority is getting the people, and getting the people stops the quarantine, stops the outbreak. This sounds like, like you said, this sounds like more of a job of Wayland Yutani Black Bag Team. Like, I don't know why no, we're no, doing no, this. I'm not Wayland Yutani, but she, she no, gave no. me the creeps. No, no, no. Not Black Bag. We're bringing them back alive. <sighs> yeah. Uh, I don't think the Kentucky. <laughs> hey, you're disappointed, one. pal. <laughs> you we said it. That, we all knew that wasn't going to happen. <laughs> you said it. That bitch is not. Yeah, right. you didn't have yes. to her on, on the stage. Uh, she has looked. 
<clears throat> and did we right. are you leaving Chaplin back in the hospital with that thing locked up? We need more leads. We're we're flam blind here. So this yeah. refinery is like the only other lead that we we'll have. I'm gonna yeah, need I don't to... know if I trust that thing. Well, he's been trustworthy. I've known him of old. He's been trustworthy up to this point. That's the first strange action. This, as we said before, this whole thing is strange. We've just got to do what we can to get out of this alive. Yeah. <clears throat> and we've also got a war to fight after this is done. Apparently, if this were an easy job, it wouldn't be us doing it. We get the shittest jobs because we get stuff done. <coughs> and a fact. Hell yeah. Where, uh, what are we, Phil? What's our unit? Your Charlie squad, is it? No, yeah. I think. Sin well, you were the Sin Eaters. You were, you were. Part oh, of the oh, sin oh, eaters. oh, totally. Yeah, yeah. You're part of the Sin Eaters. Yeah, so you're part of the Sin Eaters. And let us remind us uh, ourselves as well that the four AWOL Marines are also part of the Sin Eaters. I haven't. So, so Sin Eaters is it like a crack, sort of wet, oh. wet ops kind of um, crack Marines. And it, it was just Captain Silver that was part of that, right? The rest of us weren't. No, really. there's me and Dante, I think. Oh, no. gotcha. Me and Hammer Ooh. were on the assault team. I don't I don't see anything about yeah. me being I team. I knew it were fucked up. <laughs> because <laughs> you were the ones that start killing everybody. Uh, I think yeah. I think it's um well, it tells, <laughs> let's have a look. It's uh what is it? it tells you somewhere. Do, 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 do. There's two or three people that were senators, and the rest of us are like from other schools. Yeah, so yeah, so you so like um Captain Silver's buddy is Hammer. So yo, it's Hammer. Hammer um, was uh, was from the Sin Eaters as well. Oh, mm. I get the job done. And uh, is it Dante? Yeah, and Dante. Yeah, it is. So it's oh, Dante. Yeah, it all right. That's why Dante, Silver, and Hammer. That came out, they're all part of the Sin Eaters. I mean, they weren't not the same, not the same um, squad as the AWOL Marines, but the same, you know, the same unit kind of thing. It, yeah. The regiment yeah. which explains the attitudes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What attitude? I've got an attitude. Tell that right. to civilians at the airport. I thought yeah. I shot them all. <laughs> they felt a bit insulted. What? I but, uh, but yeah, you, you, I mean so yeah. so silver silver and Dante, they you you know that um, like hammer more than anybody else, you know that Hammer is quite volatile. He's, I mean, he's a clone for a start. He was grown, grown in a vat, grown for war. Hey, don't talk about Hammer like that. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't. What's it? I, I don't have to associate with these guys. I'm not even human. <laughs> so you're just natural, not natural born. Yeah, I'm not human. I'm not human. I was, I wasn't born. I was created. Yeah, grown you know, in a vat, you know, like Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's how it begins or oh, continues. Yeah. <laughs> well, it continues actually. Come on, <laughs> yeah, yeah, continues. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that, right? Isn't that right, Sarah Jane? Pats her head. <laughs> <laughs> that's his smart gun. Yeah, Sarah Jane's his smart gun. <laughs> okay, so. So Ion, Santa Ion is able to navigate your way through through the abandoned roadblocks and blocked uh, collapsed highways till you eventually enter the North District, which on the outskirts contains a scattering of mostly abandoned older households uh. that, are, that are in a state of decay and collapse. Right. Uh, but the yep. North District is taken up mainly by the oil fields, uh, the centre of which sits the old oil refinery. So this this barren, it's a quite a barren stretch of snow-covered land, and it's dotted with snow-draped fracking rigs mm. and seesaw pump jacks 
There's also uh, also the three abandoned mobile drilling rigs that have uh, have uh, fallen into disrepair and decay, and up maybe maybe fifty or sixty individual wells scattered around the the area. But like I said, the main the main landmark of this area is this old this big old oil refinery that sits pretty central uh, to the north district. Okay. Um, so are we on a level with it? Are we raised up and looking down on it or no, it's it's kinda it's kinda all flat in this area, yeah. Okay. So us driving up's gonna be really obvious, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To you need to dismount early and yeah, stop shy of it. <clears throat> stop stop at the end of the road of it. Yeah. Okay. Um uh so yeah, so I, I presumably want to like uh, what pull up in some kind of like cover, so so you're not uh, immediately. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. We're trying so, to observe the area. Where right. we're at right now, if I'm reading this correctly, is oh no, I'm reading the distances wrong. Is that in miles? Uh, no, the, uh, I don't think the scale is set correctly yeah, on this. On the, okay, never mind. It's in meters, yeah, but I don't think it's. I don't think the scale is set correctly. I think we're just two meters from it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think uh, in no time. We'll never see it. Oh, uh, well, actually, hold on. Right. Um, is this scale correct? No, it is not correct. No, good grief. Um, so, um. So about two, I think at one one square is about fifty meters. I think. Oh, oh just so one, one square is one kilometer. Actually, is what the. Oh, yeah. oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm looking at the. Yeah, sorry. I'm looking at the Fort Nebraska one. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's one kilometer. Yeah. Like an OS map, so yeah, it's, it's a, yeah. Across, yeah, We're like what a half a click from it. Yeah. 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 Use a wall or something for cover or something that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We, want, we want to observe it, see if there's any movement, any cars that are around here, anything like that. Okay. So, so I own a pulls up, uh, pulls the APC into an old, into yeah. the remains of an old abandoned uh, warehouse, you know, like some kind of warehouse or storage yeah. facility. Yeah. <clears throat> so you're disembarking from the APC. Not going to have to, right? Oh. Not yet. I'm just seeing if I've got any binoculars. I haven't got any. Would it be a good uh, idea? Have we got any binocs anywhere? No, you've sir. got what you've got. We've got what we've got. Yeah. Well, that's not what Hudson said. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Nobody's got any telescopes or all that. Nobody's got any I can range. Switch angles. on my motion tracker. It's got long range outdoors, but yeah, isn't going to cover the area. So I switched that on anyway and listen to it clicking away. Right. Okay. <clears throat> so what I think we're going to do, what I think we're going to do, is. We're going to go, we're going to split up into fire teams. Okay. Um, I think, right, so Hammer is our fire support. Okay. We've got uh, the sergeant and we've got Smijumski. Uh, they can be the, the rifle squad. Dante could be the point man. Okay. So what I think is that we're going to pull a bit closer. We're going to deploy. Dante goes point out from a bit further than the rest of us. Then it'll be Hammer. And then us three will be behind. As soon as Dante's got contact, gives the signal. Hammer starts suppressing. And then we move manoeuvre from there, yeah. And we move we move up to contact. If we can get away with uh, not shooting anything, that would be great. Is there any problems with that plan? 
No, so we're just trying to use cover as best as possible. Get the actual yeah. refinery we want to. Aim of the game is to get into the refinery and locate them. Then we can outmaneuver them. So we're not going to engage unless unless engaged first. But that's how I think we should move for best cover. If they start firing back, remember that they're, they're crack teams as well. So you know we're not dealing with rookies. Um, but if we do that, then at least we, I think we've got a chance to manoeuvre around them. Uh, I would probably just say, sir, be aware when we're going to the enclosed areas, uh, trip wires, booby traps, just be extra cautious for that. They might have um, secured the perimeter. Definitely, and that's why Dante is going to have to have his eyes peeled. That's what the point man's going to do. <clears throat> the shout the traps as we're moving in. Well, uh, I hate to argue, sir. I'm... Uh... I'm not really qualified for that. Uh, I mean, I'll go, uh, but uh, it's uh, I'm not I'm not known for being really uh, one of the looky loos, if you know what I mean. Okay. Who is looking? Baldrills? Anyone? If you're on, uh, who's got it? You want me to shoot something with my uh, with my RPG here? I'm I'm right there. Who has got sharp eyes? <laughs> no one steps forward. <laughs> so it's worth it's worth um, it's worth noting with with regard to that. So the like I said the the colony is in the in uh, in the in the full throes of a of a, of a blizzard. Yeah. Um. So out outside. Uh, anything beyond short range, mm. which is uh, is been anything beyond about twenty five meters, is uh, is quite heavily obscured uh, to the point that you will get a minus two modification on any observation checks. Right. I think we can drive up to twenty five meters away. I think I think we can drive most of the way there, and then deploy from there. Um, so that should be fine. Um, so I think Iona needs to stay as support in the vehicle. Um, operate the pulse column if it needs to be. Copy that, Captain Silver. Yeah. Just, uh, it's uh, so to interrupt, Captain Silver. I'm, uh, I, I'm, I'm getting, I think I'm getting a, um, uh, some comms from, from Chaplin. I'm not sure why it's coming over. I'll patch it through. Okay, so you're all here. Um, Chaplin, yeah, yeah, Captain Silver, yeah, can you read me, Captain Silver? We read you, Chaplin. Uh, Go I, ahead. I apologize, sir. There seems to be some interference here. There is, um, I'm sorry to report there is no further information I was able to recover from, from the records at the medical facility. <sighs> the, the security cameras confirm the presence of both Marines and that Wojcik. Did indeed leave the building unaccompanied. Do you know how long ago? Almost 24 hours ago, sir. Right. Uh, uh, should I head to your location? <sighs> no, sit tight for now. Make sure that doctor doesn't open that quarantine room. I, I can't should. do it. <coughs> I'm quite sure the doctor has no intention of doing that, sir, but I, I understand. Is he allowed to interfere with a human? So if the doctor tries to open oh, yeah. is he allowed to stop him? He's a synthetic. He can't physically stop him, no. He, well, he has, uh, so he's, he's, uh, he's uh, like a... Um, Configured as a marine, so so his, some of his protocols are overridden, right? But with regard to um, enemies, yeah, you can't hurt people, but it don't mean to say you can't restrain them. Oh, it can hurt people. I mean, normally, I mean the normal androids. Normally, yeah, yeah. But it depends. It depends on the uh, on the program, but yeah, it doesn't right. stop Ash. <laughs> well, yeah, right. So. Should that's what that's what we're going to do drive up to 25 meters 
deploy, sneaking in that order, try and find where they are. That's a plan. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so I presume within 25 metres you'd be, you mean still behind some kind of uh, cover or not? No, as in we're driving the APC up. Yes. And then we'll, yeah, you can keep it behind cover if you want, yeah. Very well, Captain. Just a so, question, how, how much louder is our APC than the storm? Um, the storm would probably cancel the no. I mean, it's a pretty like, like you know, it's a pretty, na it's pretty knackered. It's um, it's on its last legs. It makes a hell of a lot of noise and kicks out a hell of a lot of black smoke. Mm. Um, but the the intensity of the storm, it we should probably cover cover the sound of the APC until you get you know until you get quite quite close. Maybe twenty five meters, maybe. That's all right. But even inside the APC, you can hear you can hear the, the like wind howling and whipping around it. In between the clunk, that's all right, that's all right. yeah, yeah, in, in in between the like gaps around the door because it's the it's a piece of crap. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Iona Sergeant Iona drives the APC, winding it through the uh, through the narrow streets between the like um, between these old storage buildings yeah. uh, that border the refinery mm -hmm. uh, pulls it up pulls up pulls it to a halt in one of the side streets we got a little bit of a you know you, the APC is partially obscured but you can you can still uh, get a view of uh, of the refinery so it's this it's kind of uh, it's a walled compound. There's a high wall, maybe maybe about twenty feet tall, reinforced concrete wall with steel with heavy metal gates. Okay. Around uh, dotted around its perimeter, and you can see uh, one side on the west side of it. You can see two uh, two large distillation towers that straddle. Uh, partially straddle the west wall, as well as smaller, smaller storage um, storage silos that uh, that just can just be can be seen just poking up above the the top of the the top of the walls. Okay, the top buildings, nobody on top of them. Oh, you see, you can't you can't tell. You can just like I say, you can just make right. out this all, almost in silhouette because of the because of the storm. You stew. Yeah, you're too you're too you're too far away to get to make out any details. That's a good point. You're not going to be up there in a the blizzard anyway. She can't probably not. But yeah, they, they could. I mean, there could be ten, you know, ten, twenty people there. You'd never you'd never see them from this distance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not much point in being up there to spot, is what I mean. So I mean, you can approach it from any side: the south, the east, the west, the north. Or you could you could probably try and do like you know, a circuit of the perimeter. Okay. It's going to be Dante, so Dante's here to find the best way in. That's what the the point man's doing, the scout's doing. You okay. The scout. And so we're following your lead. Okay, so so uh, should we say that uh, is Dante? What's Dante going to do? Then he's going to do yeah. like a um, safe um, like perimeter, sir, uh, like. Uh, well, I mean, if we have an idea of where we're going, then yeah, I'd like to check out the perimeter first before going right inside. I'm going to try and keep my eyes peeled for movement. I'm going to look for possible tripwires or mines or anything like that. Again, I'm not super skilled in this area, but I'm going to do what I can. It worries me is that everything's going to be buried underneath snow. Yeah, right. I think it's more when we get to the building, you know, doorways. Doesn't uh doesn't jetpack have a motion sensor too? <laughs> yes, good. Kipper, call him. Come on, we, we should have just called him Kipper from the start. All of this would have been sorted. It's <laughs> Jumevsky, you dumb fuck. <laughs> look, I look. I do, do you don't you have a motion sensor? Yeah, I got a motion sensor. All right. Well, keep it on. 
turn it on. Check it out as we move in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why can I literally hear a motion sensor in my head right now? <laughs> there, is a, there is a sound effect in here somewhere for it. Don't worry. Yeah, it's well, not quite it comes sound. on randomly. <laughs> it's not the movie sound, though. Very loud. You, what you, you think now? it's random. Ka -ping, ka -ping. Um, so, yeah, I'll move forward slowly. I don't know if you want me yeah. to roll anything, but... I'm following from a reasonable distance. Mm-hmm. Smart yeah. gun at the ready. Staggered file. Yeah, this is probably going to be a little bit too close for the RPG, so I'll just have my uh, my pulse rifle ready. Okay. See, you can totally hear that motion tracker. Right. It is. <laughs> oh, one second. Let me just. I need just need to set. Oh no, that's a guy. I can't. That's got a ruler. Just need to uh, set this up a little bit so I can. Uh, oh my god! Really? <laughs> it's so slow. Uh, um, um, so, Dante, you while the others hang back, I presume is me, uh, the idea. You oh, patrolling? Come... Don't be patrol formation. It's not like he's walking forward. Uh, like <laughs> man clearing. So, so he's not. So he's not. So he's not doing a soul. So he's not doing like a perimeter on his own. Then. No, no, no. no. It's we're patrolling. Going with him. It's not a foul. We're going with him, but like. Right, but, he's so how far ahead? How far ahead? The two meters spread between. Uh... I would say more like five. I would say more like ten meters ahead. It's ten meters away from us. Okay. okay. So just so you should you just be able to make you know still still see him more or less. No, we need to see him. We well, that's what I'm saying. You be able to you be able to see him, but stop. We need to know that. We need to know that's what he's doing. Yeah, you know. yeah, we can't yeah. really tell from the map whether we're going up corridors or along fields or what, if that makes sense. So, with between two to five meters in this visibility would be ideal. Stagger okay, file. fine, five meters then. Um, okay, it'll, it'll depend on the terrain. You know, are we going up a corridor? Yeah. Are we? It, it's all so it's all it's all flat, it's all flat. So, the area surrounding the refinery it's all it's all kind of flat, it's open, there's nothing. There's nothing, no other structure within maybe a couple of hundred right. yards. So we'll be using triangular formation then. The best way to advance. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. he's in the staggered. So yeah, yeah. if you're crossing open fields, triangle formation, person at the point, gunner, everyone else falls yeah. in behind. Yeah. Stretches out. So between two to five meters, yeah. covers. Absolutely. And then if we get oh. bumped, you go in the extended line. Yeah, exactly. And the fire teams. So, oh. so it's uh, as Amma starts suppressing us at the back, move up. Yep, Nichols end up form the line. Yeah, yep. and then starts right. going to Paris fire maneuver. You know, it's not going to go down that way, but as as we're moving forward in this, extremely as we're moving forward in this extremely aggressive firing line uh, setup, I'm like, <laughs> aren't we supposed to? Uh, Take these guys alive? We, yes, and we do intend to, but like I said, they're crack commandos. Just like they're a, not going to go quietly. We still need it. We're still crack green. commandos. Still They've managed to off themselves. So it's not far. a tea party. I know. I know you were getting out, Dante, but um, still remember you're a marine. Well, yeah, yeah, but like, what am I like? Am I do I fire when I see somebody? When I, what do you want no, me to do? You do not engage unless engaged. Advance the contact is. Uh, basic section battle drills. Advance of contact is we're going until we either see the enemy, you give a field signal, we'll go to ground, we observe, right. or if they fire upon us, if we come under effective enemy fire, then we can into right. section battle drills. Exactly. Okay. Mason's and you can got hear, it. You can Mason's hear got it. Offing over comms again. Uh oh. <clears throat> I'm good. <clears throat> Sort of pop my flame for I mean, we're all probably, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we're all probably sniffling and stuff like that. In the yeah. Blizzard. So. Um, so, yeah, conditions conditions out here are, are terrible. You can't you can't verbally communicate to anybody who's more than a few feet away from you. That's why I was using reason field signals. But you got, but you get, yeah, well, you can hand signals to where yeah. they're, they're usable within like a few yards of 
you know, yeah. maybe about five or six yards of each other. And of course, you got your you got your comms. Although even in your comms, you have to you having to like raise your voice because the yeah. Yeah, well, we're because not like leather. if you're patrolling, you're not kumbaya all the way up. You know what I mean? It's no, no. yeah. Uh, I'm just you know, the of the before it is part of the you know this isn't something that should be like it should just happen naturally you know it's in a train yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah and indeed it does because you yeah you safely circumnavigate the uh, the entire refinery and it is huge it is a massive massive um, structure emplacement um, several hundred yards uh, across. On each to each side. Uh, there are, like I said, there's these heavy reinforced concrete walls that stand about 20 feet tall, and it is punctured. Or uh, the walls are broken by uh, six heavy, large steel uh, steel doors that are, that are like what are open on on runners, or would have done, and. Oh, wow, that's loud. Okay. Okay. And there you are. There, there, there's your tiny little things down the bottom right-hand corner of the map mm. for, scale, for a sense of scale. <laughs> down here. <laughs> wow. Wow, indeed! Wow. So, Dante, there is one. Uh, so, there is one thing that you know. So, uh, all by one, all the doors at first, uh, on f at first uh, appearance, seem to be closed. Yeah. But the east one is, um, all right, not the east one. Yeah, the east one. Sorry, is um, is open. Just, just a crack. Maybe, maybe about three or four feet. I mean, the mechanism looks like it's long. It's long out of um, out of commission. The uh, that was used to that would have been used to open it. Shall we? Uh... And you can see as you get closer as well. You can see there is, although it's although it's um, you don't see it until you get up close because it's been almost completely obscured by fresh snowfall. But there's a definite trench of like marking regular traffic. Back and forth through through this area mm. by the east door. Yeah. Okay. Well, do do we want to go in the obvious open way, Cap, or do we want to maybe find another entrance? I shout just loud enough over comms in the blizzard for them to hear me. <laughs> uh, at this point, as well, you can all make a. I forgot what the um, what's the, uh, the observation. I believe it's observation. Yes, you can all you can all make an observation check. Yeah. It doesn't cause any. If it causes you any stress, you can remove it. It doesn't cause any stress. It won't cause any stress. This uh, actually succeeded. Surprising. Observation. Well, I got one. I don't know if that's a success. Yeah, yeah I got one. One. Uh, so the hammer's yeah. got a well, success. Oh. Silver's got a success. He's got a success. Kipper. Uh, Dante. Uh, so it's everybody then. Yeah. So like I say, get you can do, ignore that. You can get get rid of the stress. If it's caused you any stress, it's not going to cause you any stress for this. So as you're debating what to do, you hear almost completely. Ob Drowned out by the sound of the blizzard, you hear in the distance, uh, for what a better like a, a whoop. This sound cover, it's not a mortar or something. <laughs> it, it sounds, it, it, yes, it possibly sound to your trained ears. It sounds, it sounds like some kind of like a, a distant explosion. The boop. Like just a that, boom. That, that still Everyone sounds like a motion to me. <laughs> take a knee. Cold position, sure take a knee. Just but looking around, there's no, there's no, there's no sign. Like I say, it's really, it's really faint. Almost, you almost don't 
notice it. Yeah, Just yeah, yeah. Boof, somewhere, somewhere, somewhere far behind you. Behind us. Yes. It's not our APC going up, is it? <laughs> oh no, no, it's not the APC. <laughs> that would have been. You would have heard that. Yeah, that's yeah. been. That would be close enough to be. Uh, <laughs> Like, like I say, it's, it's, it's almost almost like the equivalent of a whisper. If you know, you know, the, like, it's no louder than a whisper. It's like, boof. Okay. Stealth motor. But yeah, you, yeah it, 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 like, it sounds like a, maybe an explosion of some kind. Well, like Mason says, hold, hold the line and uh, have a look behind us, see what we can see. Nothing. Uh, Nothing. Obviously, Blizzard and all that. Yeah. Okay. You can't even see, you know, you can't even see where the APC is from here. No. We hang about for 10 seconds, make sure that the whistle of incoming, and then uh, motion to carry no. on. No, you, you don't think there's, you don't think there's any worry of that. It's like I say, it sounds, it sounded far too distant. Yeah. It wasn't the sound, it wasn't the sound of like more, a mort fire or anything like that. More like, like I say, an, an explosion. Okay. Um, it could be anything. It could be anything, yeah. We not our concern at the moment. Yeah. We there's nothing we can do with that. So there's nothing coming up on your mo on your motion tracker either. It's uh it's there's a lot of interference due to the again due to the weather conditions. Move so up. if Hammer comes up the in line with me. No, say we're forming a triangle here. Yeah, I'm. I'm a should be the second. Yeah, so but Hammer is up in line with me. Yeah, uh, I can't. I can't, I can't see my token. I've just got black screen at the bottom. Yeah, if you can let see. Me, it, let yeah. me just let me just refresh. You're right. Yeah, you most of right the screen. The bottom right corner of the screen and zoom right in. Yeah, most of the well, screen no, will be it, black. I, I, I can I can see people's watching. I can see people's. I can see people like moving moving things around. Ah, there we go. I actually see green now. <laughs> so go to the opposite side and line with me. Yeah, I'm here. To come up here. So you need to basically go over here. How's that? Is that Dante? Isn't it? No, you need to reform a triangle. Is that Dante? Yep. I'm. So yeah. Hammer, come over, come over to here. <laughs> And then, um, let's see, Spensky and the boss, yep, put out so that way we're covering the area and we're not gathered up in a bunch. So, if any mortars come in, they don't take us all out. <laughs> that's it. Dante wants to be a bit further forward, I think. We're just generally maintaining so that formation and it's open ground. Um, so again, the question is, do we want to go through the door that's obviously open? Uh, or do we want to... It looks like they we yeah. saw another entrance further down. No, no. Go go for the door that's open, but obviously check for, like, tripwire, you know, shotgun things, or sure. grenade things to it. I, I still can't move myself. <clears throat> Okay, no. No, it looks like I'm selected by somebody, maybe. I don't know, it's weird. It's arrow keys, isn't it? I don't know. You can use arrow keys, yeah. Oh, can I? Yeah, there you okay. go. That's it, that's it. Far easier than trying to drag the token because it's uh, particularly yeah. some place. So. And you can do diagonals by pressing two together. There you go. Okay. How do you so, change your face? Uh, you can so you can change your facing by holding shift down and using the arrow keys or your mouse wheel. All right. Okay. I mean, I'm not going to let you make you like move your tokens every single thing. Because <laughs> <laughs> that would be somewhat tedious. The formation has dropped already. Yes. It's, yes. Like, that, for that. Get out in the bunch, lads. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. So yeah, that this uh, yeah. 
that's one of the things I thought you know, when I first started using Foundry. You could, oh, you can move tokens around. People can explore, and it's it's a curse. It's more a curse than a blessing. <laughs> yeah. People just like wander off in all directions. Yeah, I gotta admit, that's why I stopped using maps. In <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did it once, never again. <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, yeah, so so like I said, we're not going to be moving you know, moving every single direction. Uh, I think it's uh, right, no. right, so you know the formation. What do you yes. Want? So if you just clump, behind, you, just clump yourself just... together, and I shall move you to revel uh, to relevant places when you move when you move on. Just clump yourself together when you hear the whistle of the incoming market. <laughs> <Yep. laughs> Damn it! <laughs> As we get IDF. Okay, so. Right. So you check, yeah, you check, you check around these, uh, this oh, the, with the door, these huge steel doors, uh, yeah. are slightly, ever so slightly open. There's no sign. There's no sign of any, any trip wires, any traps, or any attempt to, to set anything up like that. I mean, these are huge these insurgents. Well, and these ins these insurgents you're dealing with these aren't these aren't necessarily aren't like um, trained marines. These are these are not these are com colonists that have turned against colonial uh, against the uh, United America's rule. They're just yeah, like they're you know, they're, possibly they're, UGP they're, operatives and also yeah, if, possibly. The to set up a if the marines are trying to set up a meeting, they might secure the area so they don't have people coming in. Yeah, I would. You know, what I mean, if I was setting up an illegal meeting and I know that the powers of beer are coming after me, I'd be booby trapping yeah, doors. Yeah, and yeah but there are not so it. many of them to secure the area now. Where are they going? To... Oh, um, so, so as far as you as far as you know, you there's no there are no repeat reports of uh, any UPP forces on the planet. The, as far as you know, the UP force UPP forces have not even reached Arrakis yet. Now it's possible there might be one or two, mm. um, you know, that, uh, that are out, that are on that are moon side with the uh, aiding any insurgents, but you don't know. Is that just that's just pure speculation? I think we'll be meeting up with the drop ships worth. Yeah. So we'll expect the I worst. You know, that's what they're sending to pick up these marines. So. Wow. Inside the world, I presume you can see everything. You can pretty much see everything. Yeah. yeah. Um, inside the world, so this refinery has been closed down. Was closed down at the turn of the century. It's near. It's been closed for nearly a hundred years. And the ground, the 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 most of the facility has, has fallen into decay, collapse. And many of the like buildings have collapsed. as just like remains of of walls and rotted. Rotted and rusting oil tanks, and the pipe network of pipes that uh, that run between them. Okay. Um. There's obviously nothing round here, no movement. So we carry on. Okay. So, like I said, I shall. I'll. Um, I won't move the token individual. If you just want to, just want to tell me where you're going, and I'll move you to uh, to a reasonable spot. Well, I'd like to. Oh, hang on. We're scoring yes, the belt. I'm basically looking for some, somewhere that's going to be used as a meetup point. Yeah. Sorry about that. I got. Um... I, yeah, you guys keep talking about a meetup point. Case. I don't. I wasn't here for that. So, what right. do you know about a meetup point? Yeah. Sorry, Brian. So basically, uh, the insurgents, whatever they have stolen, uh -huh. they have got somebody that they're planning to pass it off to. And here. Get off world. Well, that, that was one of the leads that we got was the refinery. Okay. Yeah, they're planning to meet whoever it is they're selling this stuff to. But we just don't know exactly where. It's been a bit of a wild goose chase. Yeah. Well, I mean, this place is large, and I'd rather not get us surrounded. So I think That's what we good. should probably do is skirt the outskirts first. Maybe head over here to where the waste hoppers are. I agree. Don't and yeah. Bad, stick bad. to what we know is the outside wall as we yeah, don't get caught around. in the open. Don't get caught in the open miles away yep. from cover. Yeah, take us around the outskirt. Okay. So. 
So like, well, a, I shall just, I shall just drag it. This opening is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I shall send you guys over that way. Very slowly. Very slow. That's how massive the scale of this place is. How slow these tokens <laughs> move. Yeah, okay, so. it's been a, this has been busy the entire game. Needle and haystack. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, we probably head forward as we go, kind of checking down these side areas in between the waste hoppers to clear those. Question. Yep. Yes. Are there any balconies or? Upstairs in this place, where oh, yeah, somebody could be watch. watching catwalks. Um, so, go. so where you are at the moment, so there's these, um, there's these like these things are like, uh, yeah, these things here, these are like spherical, um, oil tanks, old, uh, old, uh, old oil tanks, are like big, big old, like big spheres. Medical tank tanks, and then you got these yeah. these uh, these waste hoppers, which are essentially massive, massive like um, skips or cargo containers. That's um, they're just for containing uh, debris and waste. Then over here, you've got um, in linking the um, the big oil storage tanks. You've got this network of um, of tree of like pipes connecting them together. And but you cannot see any any buildings at uh, that point. Spherical, as in petroleum gas containers. <sighs> They'll light up well. <laughs> I assume there's anything in them, of course. Yeah, it's like yeah, like I said, this is this place has been abandoned for nearly a hundred years. Yeah. So you know, you can't see you can't see any actual buildings uh, from where you are at the moment. It just all you can see is like the remnants of the like the treatment works. Hmm. I was just wondering if there was anywhere in here that people could be overwatching this from. There could be. I mean, from from the walls is the only uh, the only spots you can see at the moment there where there could be somebody could be um, overlooking you. But you've seen no yeah. signs of uh, any means of anybody getting onto the walls. So Dante moved to the edge of the first container. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Look around the corner, kind of thing. And if so I like don't so see anything, I'm going to continue on. Yeah. So, like I said, we don't have to. We don't have to like move by square by square. So, so, so yeah. You you cautiously make your way down this line of waste hoppers, past checking as you go. The the yeah. place looks deserted. In fact, you've not seen any any more signs of like uh, foot traffic as you pass the huge the say uh, like another of the huge doors in the south. Uh, but Dante, when you get when you get to here, you okay. can't actually see it on the. Can't see it on the map because I think they put some what use some walls there. But beyond the uh, network, this maze like network of of gas treatment pipes that connect uh, that connect the st large storage tanks on the north and south side, you can just make out the silhouette of a of a building on the far west side of the compound. So I. Uh... That's flash some signs compound. over my shoulder with my hand. I don't know what the military signs for building are, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> Buildings don't shoot at you, so they don't tend to have a sign for it. <laughs> matter. It's just a, you know, if you want uh section commander, just call me. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah. So hearing, having heard Hammer say that those uh, spherical things will probably be very explosive, I'm not going to walk close to those. There's a chance they could be very explosive. Just depends what kind of residue they've got. But if this, this place has been closed for more than a century, everything that's in there's probably evaporated. Now. Oh, 
that looks like a wall there. As he creeps forward, I'll keep watching on the side. Because if we're, st if we're staying up close to the wall... Well, I'm assuming then... you all are close to me. Yeah, yeah, well, like I said, we're not going to... So if you just tell me where you're heading, we're not going to, like, move... It's... Like I said, we're not going to move at tokens individually, because that would be right. very tedious. I'm just trying to find the way to get access to this building. Um, okay. Yeah. So... I'll tell you. So, shall we, shall we say that, uh, like, like I said, it seemed to be only the only structure in the compound. So, I presume, are you wanting to head towards that? Yeah. Yes. Well, yeah. Oh. Okay. So, let us say, let's copy that. I think I've got everybody. Um, oh, where's um? God, it's that big. I can't even find tokens myself. Where's Dante? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a walkabout. <laughs> going, going say, he's, he's got the, the Hawaiian shirt on now in the camera. He's like, Shh, Shh. I'll tell you what, I'm going to. I'm going to grab all the tokens, I'm going to delete them, and I'm going to drop you down by <laughs> closer to the building because that is that's a nightmare. <laughs> it is a big compound. Oh, I found it. I found the way in. Mm. Oh, you still around? <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to drop him down. So, so let's say, yeah, we, we let's drop down here. Okay. And I own us back in the thing. So, Mason. Okay. Dante. Got another, might have two copies of Dante down here. It's Dante's twin again. Uh, there so we go. If you look up by the office door, that's where I was at. Oh, yes. Excellent. So, right, so, yeah, that's where Dante is. Let's get rid of the other Dante. <laughs> um. So, right. Dante, you can... Dante, since I'm you're all the way there, you can... You're not meant to be cloning yourself as you go along. You know, that's... I don't think we've got that technology. Um, so, Dante, you can give me a... What would that would be? That would be um, a... Um, A mobility check, if you would. Mobility. Mobility. Got a little bit of that. Yeah. Okay. Do you? Okay. So nice. you quietly, uh, well, you know, aided by the cover of the storm, of course, which should have given you some bonus right. dice. To be fair, you approach this um, the re the remains of this building. There's not much left of it. Some of the roof is gone. Um, you can see. Where they, there's like an open doorway where there's once a door, and you can see the inside. You can see the flicker of a uh, firelight throwing shadows against the walls. Oh, well, that's actually kind of cool. And VTT, yeah. Uh, you can you can give me an observation check as well. I will do so. Step down from the storm. Uh, yes, a penalty dice, if you would, for the, because of the storm. So I think to do that... I... It's just to put a minus, right click, and then on the window, just put minus one in the bit in the bonus dice. <laughs> nope. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to okay. push. Right here. Uh, well, no, I am going to push, because I don't have any any bad stuff showing. Okay. Yeah, you've got no, you've got no um, things at the moment. Yeah. It's supposed to be on point. I'm gonna push. Uh oh. Oh. oh so, all right. Yeah, yeah. Just, uh, just keeping it together. So, yeah. You know, you can. So, you're creeping a little bit closer. Uh, you can't. Uh, you, you can't hear anything above the storm. Maybe, maybe peek your. Stick your head around the corner of the door, corner of the door and have to and quickly pull back as you spot as you spot four or five individuals all crowded round uh, a burning oil drum. And there's one thing that you do know that does uh, you immediately notice in the in the flickering light is these aren't insurgents; these are wearing UPP uniforms. Oh! Oh my God! Oh, we're, yeah. we're going to be attacked <laughs> by the PP. It's war. 
Right then, uh, there's um, you hear Chaplin's voice over the comms. Captain yeah, Silver, do you read me, Captain Silver? Are we where we are? Uh, no, yeah, I would say you would uh, you would be moved up. So I will say you are currently maybe here. As you slowly move up, up to yeah, here we go. I can hear it now. It's good. Turn, turn comes off then. Close. You're just going to turn it off. Yeah. Nev, um, normally, um, like in the contact, two presses of the pressel in response. So click, click. All right. Okay. Well, let uh, click, click. let Charlie know. Uh, Chaplin know that uh, you've responded, but there's something you know it's busy. Yeah. Contact so two clicks of the press all. Yeah. Okay. What what's going on here? We're we're waiting on Dante. Yes. So what are you doing? What's Dante doing? Do I feel like I can calm them at this just field signals and not be heard by the people in there? Possibly. Possibly. So I'm going to try and keep it as quiet as I can and be like, uh, you said four, right? Or five? Four to five, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just going to err on the side of caution and say five UPP soldiers. Okay. Um... Well, you don't have to do it over the comms. You can come back. You know, I mean, we're not like... Oh, I'm not going to risk stealthing back to you. Like I'm in a great position right here. I can. I'm not saying this over comms, but I'm no. Like, I can. Uh, I can take. So it yeah. So Dante's yeah. So Dante's like relays this over comms anyway. There's four, five, five UPP. And again, Chaplin comes over comms. Captain Silver. Captain Silver, do you read Captain Silver? Oh, read you. We're in the middle of something here. Yeah. <laughs> contact so... weird out. Yeah. Chaplin, contact weird out. Right. So I kind of like move close to Mason and say, right, what's the deal? Are we taking them? Are we wiping them? We've got no leads to the woman. The, these seem to be the only ones here. If we can take them alive. Are we better setting up a perimeter? Not spring it yet. Are we waiting for this person? They're obviously waiting for them to turn up. We're better letting this meet happen if we spring it too early. Pull back to cover. Other sort of look around. Are there any observation points or high ground that we can get to? Um, well, not that you'd be able to see inside the building, no. What, what's the build? Is it like a brick building? Is there, can you, yeah. right. Windows? Uh, yeah, there are windows. There's a window, there's a window here. Oh, I'm going to pick. So there's a, there's a window here that, um, I forget the right thing. There's a window here that, um, that Dante peered through, so it's a, it's a well, rather broken window. What? So it's a right. Um, not a door, it's a window. I do apologise. I thought it was a door. It's a window. Right. Where is the door? In the south. Outside of the building. Right. Wow. Um, oh, I see. That symbol is a door. Gotcha. Yeah. So we're um like down here. This looks like where the meat's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll pull that out. I think maybe we'll make his way around to the door then. Yeah. So is that the door? On the. No. Oops. 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 <laughs> this is a door. <laughs> so this is where they're going to be approaching from. So we um So the options are we either wait on on Wolchek turning up, which she may have already been and gone. We don't know that. 
the way with the, the champagne so the options are to pull back to the gas treatment pipes hide there and observe until we see her coming and then move in after her or we go in now and deal with the situation that we find now and hopefully they'll be able to give us more info if we can get one of them alive we need one alive don't we we need somebody yeah, alive an option could be um busy take their place yeah we need somebody alive otherwise we're getting no intel and she and if we kill them all she could be anywhere yeah so um obviously if we breach the door we're gonna noisy um mm. pick our targets yeah uh, so if, they don't lift, if, they don't, if they don't lift their weapons and basically if we can go in and capture them fine but uh the minute someone lifts their weapon that's it we're taking them out straight away we just need one alive yeah yeah uh, exactly. take over their position no wait life. for her to arrive and then we'll have to deal with her yeah yeah so chaplain comes over comms again captain silver <laughs> heading to your location copy that UPP operative on foot it's taking a while to get here. <laughs> He's certainly something, isn't he? <laughs> it's like he trying to get us killed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, Dante. I would say stay there. You're gonna come out of the window. What, uh... Is it worth going round? Okay. Um, should we take this back? Should we patrol around this back? Look for. Uh, is that a window look for other windows the baby well there's four of us left if dante stays put so we could try and pincer two in the door busy two get in the door yeah two in the windows uh try and get another cover covering fire from another window yeah does anyone, does anyone have anything like a flashbang we've only got standard grenades <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a flashbang if you consider an RPG or a rocket a flashbang. <laughs> <laughs> That's a perfectly good flashbang. Yeah, we'll flash and it will bang. bang. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> nope. Nothing of the sort. Hmm. Now, it's legal uh, work if you roll it into a corner. Yeah. It's, uh, like you said, Dante stays there. Two go south to the door. Two go north. See if there's a window or a, a way in on the north side. Yeah, try and get covered, and then we'll. <laughs> okay. Um... <laughs> right. Right. I'll. Uh, I'll take a door yeah so okay so you're alpha um whoever goes north is bravo uh, and dante at the window is charlie very professional very professional <laughs> just stop <clears throat> saying we're just, we're just going now going now <laughs> Dead by that time <laughs> but, uh, so so sorry who, who, who's going where so dante's staying where he is yeah you know, that's what you tell him to do yeah that's charlie team yeah so mason is going south where are you taking mason uh what's the... hammer or <laughs> i think i think it's gonna have to be hammer because he's got the big uh he's got the big gun okay Okay, so I shall shove you both. Uh, I shall send you both over to the south door. You don't have to move. I'll do it for you. Hasn't oh, someone else in this group got a smart gun? No, no, they're, they're we're not even like a full squad. I swear, there's two smart gunners. Oh, yeah, but not, no, not in this squad. We're 
We're the Brady Bunch. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you've got the smart gun. I've got the RPG launcher. Oh, oh, that's what I'm thinking. Of. I, I know there was another heavy weapons up. That'll be you, yeah. Brian. Dante. Um, where's Silver and um, and, and Jet Ski going? Uh, we're going north. To the north side. Yeah. Being the fact he's going with Silver, would it be inappropriate to go on a Would it be what, sorry? Would it be an appropriate to go with silver? Would it be, be, would it be an appropriate to call him Tonto instead of Jimmy? <laughs> I don't know why his Majeski is so hard. <laughs> it says on his character sheet that no one can pronounce it. <laughs> okay, so you take up your positions. Yeah. And um, the comms comes. Uh, Chaplin comes over the comms again. <laughs> he's Captain Silver. Fuck off. He's got to, he wants, he wants to off. tell us that the thing's escaped. So you know, just before you cut him off, you hear him say it, he starts say, saying, come and do it, and then you cut him off. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely the... Mason's right. He's going to get us killed. Hopefully he's coming. He's coming uh, here. Uh, well, you think Mace, uh, You think Chaplin's going to get us killed? You realise we're in direct line of fire from that maniac hammer. Yeah, but you're wearing friend or foe designators, aren't you? So I can't actually shoot you because my gun won't fire. <laughs> I have no um, idea. Is that a thing? You're probably it? tinkered with it. Don't <laughs> don't even give us that. You've You've fiddled with Sarah Jane. Sarah Jane probably doesn't go with those uh, protocols. What do you mean? I, 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 <laughs> I did not in the off time. I, 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 I didn't hit you when I mowed down the terrorists. <clears throat> yeah, well, I was in the middle of them. Yeah, like, terrorists, scratch, <laughs> civilians. <laughs> all, all, all terrorists are <laughs> civilians. None of them are trained by the sitting, military. Sitting part them down and there's a thunder red mist in front of me. It's like, what the hell? <laughs> so what are you doing all the terrorists are civilians not all civilians are terrorists <laughs> yeah. that's why people so so talk to, talk to us all very very quietly as quiet as I can and say right I'm going to go on three check your corners when you go in okay don't kill everybody if you can, we need at least one alive. Okay, watch your crossfire. Are we ready? So, so is this a, this a this is an ambush? Is it not? Yeah, it is. Pretty much. Well. Yeah, we're, we're ambushing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Question: In The interior of this building it is just all open, right? There's it not is. A, yeah. Yeah. No, okay. there's, there's nothing in. There's nothing in there at all. Apart from five soon to be dead UPP and fire barrels, <laughs> at least one. Yeah, okay. So, um, so each of you, one person from each group needs to make a mobility check. I haven't moved, so I don't need to. <laughs> oh, this is this is like to um, this is to like initiate an ambush. Oh, gotcha. Okay, I think I'm all right to do it. Uh, in our team, my mobility is. You're in charge, so I'm quite good at it. Except right. that not, are I doing a fire team? There you go. I've got what well, I've, 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 I've got mobility <laughs> one, so I've got six dice all together. So silver, yeah. So you you, you rolled a panic. So yeah, you, yeah that's okay. Get it together, but to, managed to keep it together. Right, Stress together. is building. Oh, it is stressful. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Bloody hobby soldiers, <laughs> Jesus. Uh, here we go. What was that? I missed that. God, he was in a team by himself. <laughs> Dante, oh no. Yeah. Dante's not yeah. Oh, panic, nervous, twitch, stress level, and stress level of all for it. No, so it doesn't affect anybody else. So um, I think my nervous twitch, though, is going to pop off, right? Because, like, yeah. Oh, oh, oh God. Oh. Is it Dante yep. has got the, the thing with his. Yeah, yeah. So, yep. yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 
Has he done play, been going around saying he's always got his yeah, he's yeah. in place? Yeah, because yeah, he's got... Every time my stress level increases, there's a 1 in 6 chance you involuntarily discharge your weapon. Yes! <laughs> yes. Oh, mistake off. <laughs> it was, it <laughs> I love it. Oh, God. Oh, my God. He's Perfect. doing the right people I, this I, time. I don't know. Yeah. I never said whether or not it was on or off. Well, I would imagine it was you would have taken it off at this point. Right, prepping for an ambush. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so one in six and <laughs> poor excuse. All right. Um, really, I should have rolled it before the last time I hit panic as well, but I forgot. Oh, it was a, it was a, it was a fail as well. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> to be fair. So I'm just rolling a single base die. Yeah, yeah. Just to say, well, just a d6. You can roll a d6 off the dice tray at the bottom. Uh, oh. Yeah, I'm yeah. tempted. To, I'm tempted to say it goes off anyway. To be honest, I, I am too. That's, like, that's well, it just say, I mean, it say, it say nervous Absolutely twitch. Perfect. It just say nervous twitch. So yeah, I'm gonna say, yeah, I'm gonna say it goes off right. because I think that I, I think that um, I think that was a that was the roll on the dice anyway. So yeah, so you're yeah, getting just getting into position. So um, Jemski and and Silver as well. You can. As you get into position, you can both make a observation roll, though with a with a um a penalty die. So, I'm just call you Jim Skate. Okay, it's Jim Skate. It's like Doc yeah. Savage. I got one. Success. You got one. Okay. What, silver. Okay. So. Uh, As you you're just 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 about ready to uh, to like um, to jump into jump into action to like trigger to like set off the uh, you know send the command set off the ambush and and suddenly there's a burst of uh, <laughs> of weapon fire. <laughs> now to be fair, I was like aiming in their direction. Yes. So, <laughs> so um, well, 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 yeah. So it's um. We'll let you. We'll let you fight. You know, you can make it. You can make an attack roll against them. So as you look round, you come. You kind of like step round, panic, and you <laughs> let off. Yep. Let off a, a burst, uh, and you can you can give us an attack roll. So you can see there are actually six people here. Three only. Three of them are dressed in UPP uniforms. The uh, yeah. the others are wearing colonists' clothes. Oh dear! What can they matter be? So, if you click on the um, on the uh, the old um, gun in the inventory, do you have to click on one of these guys? Um, we you can you can do you can do. Yep. Oh, that's probably not a UPP, is it? Uh, the uh, the black the the um, yeah the black ones uh, the slightly darker ones are UPPs. Yeah. So, all right, going to my gun. Jeez, there's a lot of dice. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> nice, it so yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, you managed to uh, you managed to hit them. So that's uh, so it just so there's two two damage to one of them and you've got uh, you've got next success so you can you can spend that for for various um stunts as it calls them. Yeah, let me uh, let me check. I remember I saw some stunts. So yeah, if you click on the spanner it will okay. show you all the stunt all the stunts. On the range, on the range combat, Reco shares. But yeah, everybody else loses their own surprise. So, and as you, as you, um, as you all hear this like burst of, of weapon fire, Zeminski, you, for some something, for whatever reason, you look, you look up, and behind, and you see. You see the silhouette of a figure peering down from the top of one of the distillation towers. Oh! And maybe, maybe, Three just before, yes. just <laughs> maybe, just before your attention is drawn by the sound of weapons fire, maybe you see the glint of um, glint of light off a off off something reflective, like a rifle. Maybe a rifle scope. That's Ooh. a big, big diamond <clears throat> ring. <laughs> so uh, I've decided... And then there's a... 
I just <laughs> use my extra success to make them uh, panic. Okay, so uh, what is this? Pin down. I'm trying to see that. Uh, pin down your enemy for immediate panic. Yeah. yeah, okay, so immediate panic roll. Okay, so they all... Oh, my God. That's a lot of panic rolls. Um, <laughs> okay, so, in fact, they don't get... Panic rolls, do they? Um, so I oh, do. Okay. Sense, then? No, no, it, do, it does, but they they don't. They it could cause them to panic. They can panic, but they don't actually have a. You don't roll them. You just I just decide what happens. So basically, you say yeah, you hit. So one of the guys is hit. This guy here. So he takes a. He takes two points of damage, and as he as he falls to the falls to the floor. Clutch at his side, the uh, the others like sort of just hit the deck. Right, we're bursting through then. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so so if um so because because you made them panic, um you're, you're well normally you're you're like burst of fire, you know, you got you're setting off that uh, burst of fire. Prematurely, that would have alerted them, but because you've caused them to panic and throw themselves down the deck, that's um, that's going to get still. You can retain the element of surprise, kind of thing, I guess. Oh, uh, see. <laughs> so just beat the door open, spear three. Y'all think Dante doesn't know what she's doing? She absolutely. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. Weapons, weapons. So you can. So yeah, what you're going to do? You can get. You all get a free action. So, Apart from uh, Dante, who was already active. <laughs> He didn't mean to, but well, yeah. Ah. Oh, basically straight up towards him. Um, okay, so up. now now the movement matters. So you can so you can move. Uh, you can uh, you can you can move up all the way up to him if you wish. Yeah, straight up in. Right, mm -hmm. Get up, Eve, get up, Eve. Yeah, I'm guessing that's a window, not a door. That uh, well, that that you're by is a, is a window. Yeah, it's it's broken yeah. window though. You can yeah, yeah. jump through it. So, clear it. Clear it with my rifle, smash it all up, and aim through it. Before he does that, can I shout, oh, She's behind us! And I'll turn around and put some <laughs> shots up where that scope was. <laughs> okay. What I thought it was a scope. I, okay. <laughs> you can indeed. <laughs> um, so you can give us a... Um, well, let's, uh, let's see where everybody... So if you go onto the combat tab, you can yeah. click on the little dice to set your initiative... I'll uh, I'll set it for the NPCs, but it didn't really make any difference. Well, actually, I'm not going to set it for NPCs at the moment. Can you see it on the combat tab? The cross swords. We roll. Yeah, just click on the click on the dice. It'll give you it'll give you a card. Dice. Let me add myself to it. There we go. Yeah, on the on the combat tab. The cross swords, you'll see a list of uh, things. There's little, there's 20 side dice at the side of your character. Ooh. See it? Yeah, it's there basically you rolling D10 character. for you. I rolled a one. Yeah, if you, oh, um, sorry. If you right click oh, on yeah, your token, he's not on there. and then click there you the cross now. You. you are now. Yeah, they're in the list. I don't know why you weren't in the list, but you are now. Yeah. Okay. You see it? See it, Lee? I can't, you see, I can't see where I am in. I'll roll it for you. There we go. <laughs> there we go. I'll draw a card for yes, you. thank you. Oh, look at Hammer. <laughs> so, so Hammer is the first to act. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you kick, kick the door in and uh, Hammer, you, you act first. But in that case, I kick the door in. I run towards the insurgents, presuming they are insurgents. I stop about five feet away and just ram the smart one in the direction. Stay down! I will use menacing. Oh, excellent. Excellent. And I give Hammer a, a thumbs up through the window. <laughs> so, uh, do you want to remind us what? Uh, oh, that's Mason, not uh, not Hammer. Sorry, I do apologize. Move the wrong one. Bobby moved up beside him anyway. Menacing allows me to roll for manipulation using strength instead of empathy. Because let's uh -huh. be honest, I ain't got no empathy, but I am quite strong. 
And you can indeed. Yeah, you can roll for so you can make a, uh, a manipulation on them. It's so bad. Oh, boo! It only gave me one dice. What's this? Oh. That's oh. not right. You want to be so you want to be rolling strength, don't you? Yes. You roll your strength instead. Um, have you got anything? Have you got anything in manipulation? Uh, I I have no manipulation skills. Whatsoever. So yeah, so it's so it's just a straight strength roll then because you're using your. Oops. There we go. Oh. <laughs> okay, so hammer charges in. Ames is a, yeah, like aiming his smart gun at them and like, go ahead. So you have this massive, massive bite mark in his forehead. Broken nose, blood smeared everywhere. Bits of civilian hanging off his uniform. <laughs> okay, and. Um, sorry, 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 terrorist. Bits of terrorist hanging off his uniform. <laughs> <laughs> So, okay. So they all they all throw their hands up. They all like it, like just throw their hands up into the air. All the, putting their hands over their heads. And I didn't kill anyone yet. Why did you have to say yet? <laughs> just <laughs> we've played this for a couple of sessions with no one's <laughs> on the cards. But if you give me a coat, he's got the only a dice roll away. You know what you're <laughs> So yeah, uh, so they yeah they, they they all they all surrender. That's perfect. <laughs> we went for that marine behind us, about to blow his brains out. That that would be perfect. That <laughs> I've got to be honest, that was a bit anticlimactic. <laughs> oh. Well, so yeah, so, uh, throw the hands up into into the um you know the kid calls you. Oh, 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 don't shoot! Don't shoot! Has anyone got any cuff tape? <clears throat> um, I believe, and I believe um, Zagumski was making firing a round, uh, firing a shot off of this up at the tower. I am. Go ahead then. And uh, is it going to be a standard shoot, or have I got a penalty dice or anything? Like uh, that? You will have a penalty dice on that. Yes. In fact, you'll have two penalty dice because there is only you know, they've got a bit of cover and the and also the um, uh, the uh, the yeah, the the bad observe, bad um, visibility. This is not necessarily going to turn out well. You can do it. Ooh, oh, so wow. okay. So you fire up a shot. You see, and you see, you're not sure if you've if you've hit, but you suddenly see the figure disappear from view. I'll be like, fuck! <laughs> Get away! So what's everybody doing? Well, I guess, I guess, hammer. strangely, we're out of combat. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's unusual first. So I'll fire this move up here. Like I said, I won't worry about moving your tokens or anything. So I guess everybody, every, everybody's going to move in, I guess. Uh, maybe Silver's I moving in. I, I figured Or Zimensky's going to stay outside, maybe. Well, I might be chasing. They've, they've disappeared. What direction did they head in? Okay. Uh, so they were up on this, uh, up on the edge of this tower. This huge distillation tower. Okay. Which There's no way up that can be see, we can see. From here. No, you cannot see uh, any way up it now. Okay. So are they coming down or are they going up onto the roof is the question. Yeah, I mean, which way? So we, I just saw them duck away. I don't know which direction they yeah, made so they, Yeah, they just uh, yeah, saw them at the edge and they just ducked back from the edge. Okay. Um, I'm going to climb in through the window and take cover. I'm looking in that direction through the window. I don't want to make myself an easy target for a sniper. So. Okay, okay. <clears throat> there we go. But he was right okay. up there. Right. I want to turn that motion tracker off because it's driving me up the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, love Thank it. you so much. <laughs> Kenny's water like dump, 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 dump. We'll be hearing us tonight in our sleep. Dump, 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 dump. Hey, don't you usually? I always do. <laughs> 
Right. Suppose we'll take care of the civilians, get them tied up. Searched. Didn't you hear me? She was right up there. Who? Right. Void check. How do you know it was her? Who the fuck else would it be? Uh, that's a fair point. Right. We need people to take care of um, boss. What do you want? I've got the grenade launcher. Uh, I can go as a men's and investigate, but we need to get these people tied up so they're not going to jump us. Is what there any like do? gaffer tape or old wire in this room? It's unlikely, to be honest. It's unlikely. I mean, the the UP the UPP soldiers they they just like they don't say they don't say a word. They're are just... they wear right? Are they wearing belts? Are they wearing belts? Quite possibly. Quite possibly. Yeah. We could always use their belts. Mm. I mean, there's uh, the straps on the pull the uh, the straps on the pulse rifles as well. So so yeah, I guess, I guess you could find we something could, too. We could we could always do it the medieval way to make sure our prisoners don't escape and just break their arms and legs. It's wow. going to take a bit of time. It's quicker to tie them up first. We can do that after <laughs> if they don't talk. But <laughs> what we need is obviously Zmanski's seen uh, sniper. So someone's need a detail. Get these people secured, and then we need to go after. So, Captain, what do you want? Us, who do you want to do what? Right. So, two of us stay with these. Get the weapons off them. Okay. Two of them stay with these. Rest. Go after mm -hmm. them. We can't hang about tying them up. I'll stay. I want I want another volunteer to stay. Rest of you go after. Well, just we'll, detail. We'll just tell us who. Okay, Mason, Zmitsky, uh and Dante, Hammer. You and I will make sure these bastards don't move. That makes sense. I'll position Actually, myself. If you heard them in the corner of the room, yeah, and then yeah, that means that hammer and just anybody moves, they get yeah, they're the, the covered while we pat them down. Get get all the weapons right. off them. Okay, right. Okay, Zemsky, on point then. Where we're going? Um, so we're going to head off in the direction uh, of that tower. Um, okay. Looking for any kind of catwalks that might lead up. I guess. Okay, so there's nothing on the ex on the exit. The only thing that's linked that's linked to that tower is there is some pipes that run from uh, from one of the star smaller storage tanks to the dis uh, to the distillation tower, and there's one that runs from uh, it seems to run from the roof. Of the uh, of the building, as well. Oh, from the building where we just in. Yeah. Like a a pipe. Yeah, we could. We have to crawl up. Yeah, you'd have to like you know, hand over hand kind of thing across it. Uh, who's? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so who's uh, who's corralling the uh, the men inside? Uh, Hammer and me. Hammer and you. So uh, can you uh, can you both make a an observation check? Oh God! <laughs> Observation. Clicky click. Um, yep. Okay. So, so one from uh, from silver as well. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Like, shoot, alien. <laughs> so, so one of the one of the uh, insurgency like look glances. Cast a nervous glance to one of the UPP side. No, no, don't do it. Um, and you see one of the insurgents is like pulling, pulling the pin, pulling the pit, pulls the pin of a grenade from inside his jacket. Oof. He has pulled it, or he is pulling it. He, he's pull, so he's pulling, he's pulling it. Um, okay. You tremble, so you, so you. So you see this, but you you tremble. You start to you start to tremble uncontrollably. All skill rolls using agility are uh, suffering minus two modification until your panic stops. If I reduce him to okay. mince meat, will it cause another like stress point? Uh, well, it uh, not necessarily. What are you doing? It, like, I, 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 it might cause any he's carrying to go up. What do you mean? I shoot him. 
The guy who's pulling the pin, I shoot him. Okay. Yeah, dude. I let him have it. Shoot him then. Yeah. Like what? Blame have it. I, I'll shoot him as this, well this, if this I can. Is gonna, this but... is going to go badly. I know it. Nope, I'll take that. Yeah. Oh, more panic. Um, BC's is panic. Uh, oh, scream! You scream your lungs out for one round, losing, uh, losing your next slow action. Your stress level is decreased by one, but every friendly character who is you scream must make an, an immediate panic attack. So that's <laughs> that's, uh, that's <laughs> Captain Silver. That's all right. Then oh, my, my oh, screen is die, you fucker, right. as I pull the trigger. Yeah. Uh, and you empty, so you've, uh, so you've panicked, so you've emptied your entire clip as well. Oh, well, if I killed more than one, I could. Well, I, as, I, as I've emptied my clip, I dropped the smart gun back How in. How do I make panic check? I pull out my um, So it is on, um, so it's say uh, the stress. Hmm. Click on stress. Yeah. Uh... Hang on! Oh, damn it! Damn it! Oh, can, 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 can I can I amend my um, amend my call slightly? Oh my um, amend your <laughs> amend your what? I use overkill. Uh, you can use your overkill, yes. So, in, in which case you don't which panic, triggers when I make a panic roll. Uh, yeah. So, do you want to explain what that does? Basically, I just don't okay. want to empty my. I just, I, I just want to kind of like panic slightly, swallow the fear, you know, like a real man does. <laughs> and instead of emptying my clip, just put a single smart gun bolt straight through the middle of his medulla, straight to, just under the chin, straight through the medulla of the oblongata. So, the yeah, so overkill, so overkill. You don't run and hide when the going gets tough. Instead of panicking in the face of mortal danger, you can turn your fear into aggression and use it as a weapon against your enemy. You can trigger the overkill effect when you make a panic roll. So, yeah, instead of panicking, you just, uh, yeah, you just start. Oh, right, then. I thought going to kill everyone. <laughs> no. Well, I, I could have rolled with that, but I thought, no, I've done that already. It's a bit I just want to burst into the grenade holder. That'll do it. Just turn into absolute mincemeat. And then that might get the rest of them to behave themselves. That's yeah, we, want, we, want, we, want, we, want, we want to keep at least one of them alive, don't we? Yeah. Okay, so you, so you just empty you just empty the um, empty I've, clip. I reduce, I, I reduce the um, uh, the insurgent into bloody porridge. Yeah, you just you shred him with uh, from a bird with a burst from your smart gun. Well, uh, I'm going to take a step forward, smile at, them, well, at smile at them with my nicest oh, smile. <laughs> Lean in and say to them. I, I, I think I we can explain them. Um, Silver's reaction, uh, just to the fact that he probably hears the smart gun go. I think so. Just <laughs> like, oh, yeah. <laughs> not again! Not again! <laughs> oh, not again! Yeah, drops his weapon in panic or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, to put his hand up and goes, ah, oh, fuck! Oh shit! Sorry, I rolled the smart gun there. That wasn't meant to do that. Ah, <laughs> yeah. oh, dear. That's what happens. I throw, I drop my gun out. Yeah. Fuck you know. For sake. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least, at least, at least he didn't keep holding his gun and shoot me. I mean, I'm quite glad. I'm quite glad about yeah. that. Okay, so yeah, so so Hammer just reduces one of these, uh, one of these, one of the UPP soldiers to mincemeat, spraying all the all the others in gore and blood, gore and pieces of the soldier, and they all they all just like just frozen. <laughs> In I'll terror, walk, I'll walk over to the captain, pick up his gun, give it back to him, give him a hearty clap on the shoulder, <laughs> and then while keeping an eye on, keep an eye on them, swap the clips in my smart gun. I, I imagine, I imagine that the rest of you, I imagine you three probably hear the like uh, the, the the distinctive sound of uh, of um, of Hammer's smart gun. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But we're all going to get caught to the dinner, we? What's ahead, right? Um, so I'm pointing up to the top of this building to the rest of the group. Okay. He's up there. There's no way. There's no other way down. So he will still be up there. Let's do it. Is there a way to climb? Oh, uh, you could <laughs> climb on the side of the building. <laughs> In this weather. 
They have no chance of pulling a whale out your ass. Um, I want to can we? Is it like um, all these cylindrical structures so we can walk around the outside of it then with just all these pipes kind of leading off from it? Is that kind of how it looks or? Uh, yeah, kind kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the 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 big one, this uh, this this massive these massive distillation towers that that like straddle the walls, uh, they're connected to these um, to these smaller ones. And There's in no turn, or anything. no, no, those on the smaller ones, but not on the not on the big one, not on the big two. And how the fuck she got up there? And in turn, there's like a there's some right so some there, pipes that run from them leak? to the. So you can see, can you see these lines? These lines here, these faint lines. Yep. Yep. So these are the pipe. This is part of the pipe network that connects. That's connected to the uh, either storage silos uh, and also to uh, and also to the uh, root go crisscross across the roof of the office built of this office old office building so which which is the one can you just head out there which one we're going to just to get the picture in my head i'm assuming it's this 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 it was this one yeah 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 right. so i need to move up so right. there was so, this one she was up here where's the main pipe leading off so like i say you've got these you've got these pipes here there's the these faint green lines are the pipes so you got a pipe. You got a pipe here, a pipe here, a pipe here, pipe here, and then one's connecting connecting these. Shit. Right. Um. Shit. Sorry. How uh, how thick are they? Um. Maybe uh, maybe a couple of foot across. Right, um, I'm going to put a grenade. Going to launch a grenade at this one. Oh, which one's only got? I can't see the scale. This thing is too stupid. Uh, <laughs> so this is the, this is one where I could possibly get away. Yeah, we've got here covered. So we can't come. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to pop a grenade at that one. Okay. Okay. Right. So is um is that just a thrown grenade or you got some launcher? No, no, that's my grenade launcher. All right, okay. So you want to use your uh, grenade launcher then? Yep. Which uh, this should my be my little friend. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a small target, but it's stationary, so it kind of cancels each other out. So what's the worst that could happen? Right. Bloody hell. This this is meant to be attached to my bloody rifle, and it's uh, it's come off again. Right. How do I remove this? Is it left click? Um, what you mean? Yeah, the incinerator unit you know, off the. Oh, so you just it's, it's just it's, it's treated as two separate weapons on your sheet. So he's left just yeah, left click on I, I need to right. Do I need to remove one before I can? Uh, no, you just um. So you left click or right click on the icon for it to to make it active. Ah, right, there are right. Okay. That's it, isn't it? Oh, okay. Wow, boom. Yep, so boom. right. So, yeah, you time it with time, aim and time it well. And the grenade pops up, explodes, sh taking, yeah, severing, uh, severing this pipe. That'll do. So, I basically only leaves is this one, yeah, where we're covering anyway. Yeah, right. So, that's our one taken out. She can't get off, can't get off outside. So she isn't it? the sniper. Well, I, um, so the check, but who knows? So the, the well, the um, the sniper isn't more check. Oh right. Oh. Uh, oh, so it won't be as bad. So I'll, I'll have have kind of yet, but... So right, right, uh, right is a sniper. She's the she's the, like. Yeah, um, that's the one I was worried about. Yeah, she's the one that's got like, uh, yeah, just like, um, yeah, racked up loads of kills. Yeah, that's that's. I forgot that there's still two of them left. 
yeah so it's right i'm not looking forward to encountering the, in this scenario so um right so that's taken so we'll we'll start making our way up then using the the walkway the ladders or what is it right, can you? Get, <laughs> yeah they aren't you? you can you can maybe get you can probably get onto the roof of the office building i mean um well so we'll say we'll say there's some there's maybe some uh at, like uh, ladder access onto the roof of the office building i mean there's going to be something somewhere yep that works um and what you're doing you're going across the pipe well we're going to scan first can we see anything uh no the that the top of these towers is to, is much taller is much taller than the upper top of these uh, buildings. The pipes kind of go across at an angle. Right. So obviously, one goes across first. The rest cover. You kidding? Okay, I'll go. So. Uh, okay. Obviously, so uh, Svenski and I both are covering Dante then as he goes across first. Okay. So. What's uh, what's happening back inside the uh, back inside the office building? Uh, calling Iona to tell her to get the guns ready on the APC and watch out for a sniper running out of the building. Oh. So, uh, says from what what side, Captain Silver? So, I'm I'm over on the east side, beyond the east side. It's on the west. You want me to take the APC around the west side? Captain? Negative. Negative. Stay right, meanwhile, it, meanwhile, these um, these insurgents, the two you, two UPP guys that are a bit uh, look a bit traumatized, but the these insurgents, particularly one of them, is just is just like just completely falling apart, and is is on his knees, just begging, please, please don't kill us, please. What do you want? I'm gonna. Before I answer him, I said, just tell him to shut up. Um, and then I'm going to make sure none of the other silly bastards have got uh, suicide vests on. Okay. So, um, so yeah, it's pat, pat, pat him over. They've got, they've, um, you know, managed to retrieve the rest of the weapons. So, so they've all got, um, they've all got like pulse rifles and a, a sidearm. And the two remaining UPP guys have both got, um, both got a couple of frag grenades. Right. Okay. Okay. Well, all three of them. We've got a couple of frag grenades because he didn't actually manage to pull the pin on it. Luckily. Is it, we'll order, check. Where in, is she? In order to shut these guys up, do you think it'd be fine to shove a grenade in the mouth and pull the pin? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what? <laughs> You've done it now. We'll check. Where is she? So she's, she's over. She's, she's over at the compound. She's at the compound, and one of the uh, one of the others like suddenly turns round, like rounds on him, and and just lands lands him a punch right across the side of the, on nice. the on the jaw. So you shut the fuck up. They're just going to kill us if you tell them. The guy, the guy who's just the guy who's just punched the other one. Did I bitch slap him? Uh, you can if you wish. Of course you can. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm, trying, I'm trying to work out whether I can justify the fact that Hammer wears sap gloves. <laughs> you know, a nice hefty six six ounces of lead dust in, in each knuckle. I know what you're referring to. I'm not sure it's um, listed on his uh, inventory, but... Uh... I'm not sure it's illegal anymore. <laughs> quite, <laughs> close, like, like, close, close combat, I'll hit him. Oh, for God's sake. I don't suppose <laughs> overkill works there as well, does it? Um, no, it's not a combat situation, is it? <laughs> What's that? Um, excuse me, I am in, I'm, I'm engaging in facial punching. That's combat as far as I know. Uh, well, yeah, I guess so. Well, like, let's see. What does it? Uh, what does it say exactly about the or, or about overkill? I, 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 here, he's I, got their quiver of fear. He's about the punch, and he just goes. Ah, yeah, I, yeah. So yeah, you, you, I will say. So yeah, I'm going to say that. Yeah, yeah. You you can use overkill. So you just like uh, you just come down on this. Guys, up. I let Sorry, out a, meat, a meaty war cry, but my voice cracks slightly, so it's more like. <laughs> <laughs> you, you actually, you have a white glove and you slap him in the face. 
sir. You like, can't. Hey, takes his boot off, takes his sock off. I demand the satisfaction, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I will, I will, I will, I will, though, however, as a compromise, take the stress. Okay. Right. So. I, I, I slap him and try not to get teeth in my hand. So, yeah, you just, you just drop, drop down like knees first onto him and just start pummeling his face into the, into, into the ground. Oh. Wow. Shut the fuck up, you know, comprehension through pugilation. Uh, it's definitely increased by one. But yeah, but every friendly character who sees you must make an immediate panic roll. So you don't. Just, so yeah. Just shoot them. Move. I'm saying at this point you may as well just shoot them all because they're okay. <laughs> okay. So yeah. So so silver. Captain Silver is frozen by fear or stress. <laughs> oh my just god. Like, just like, oh, I think it's definitely like, stress at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fear. It's all for fun, say. Pummel somebody to death. Quite literally. You're not pummeling him to death. I'm just pummeling him to like. You think that. unconsciously, yeah, yeah, yeah. Coma <laughs> doesn't taint, <laughs> yeah. You didn't, you, you, punch, you didn't punch that marine to death, so when you were playing cards with him, so yeah. <laughs> uh, and also at the uh, at the end of the session, you have to make an empathy roll to see if you suffer a permanent trauma. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Me, ooh. no, not you. <laughs> All right, I'll do it, sir. Who, me. No, yes, you uh, Lee, you have to do that in real life. Have, have to yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've done that many times. Yes. <laughs> I'm glad I chose the captain now. <laughs> have you been talking with my doctor? It's... <laughs> oh, we are a... Let me do this again. Can I play Hammer again? <laughs> So, 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 the, so the other insurgent is yeah, the, the, the guy at the compound, please, please uh, don't kill us. Where is the compound? Uh, so yeah, he tells you. So he tells you where the compound is. It's uh, located on the um, west in the west district, I believe. Okay. Uh, yes, it is indeed, and located on the west district, just beyond the Wildcat car park. That's all the other, that's the other side of the city, isn't it? It is. <laughs> oh, oh. No, it's right next door. We're good. What are you doing here? So you can look at you can you can don't forget you can look at the um colony map anytime you want. So the West District. Oh, the, oh my god. The West District is famously southwest of the North District. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Indeed. That, 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 God, I, I look, that, that is some good civil planning right there. Yeah. And so it, so it tells you it's near the Wildcat part. So that's it. If you're looking at the map, that's a, that's a Wildcat part there. Baseball. It's got to be. Yeah. So, meanwhile, oh, so who was going? So was it Dante that was going across the pipe? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Which pipe am I going across again? This one? It, it is. Oh, God. I'm going to switch back to the map where the aisle finally It is uh, this the, one. Of the building. This How one. Getting up to it? Uh, so there's. Um, so we're going to say there must be some kind of ladder access onto the roof of the office okay. building. So climby, climby, climby. And then you'll have to make a mobility roll, though, to shimmy across the pipe. Yeah. Ooh. Of course. Good luck. <laughs> right. I just love the fact that every possibility of just taking ourselves. Oh my god, Lucky. Wow. Okay. So Dante, you managed to shimmy all the way across. Like I say, it's on it's on an incline, it's quite a steep incline as well. Up to the top, up to near the top of the it just comes to it it, it sort of penetrates the the side of the tower, just maybe a few feet below the top up the top lip. And you manage to grab the lip and pull yourself up onto the top of the tower. From the dice roll, I'm guessing this is one of those clients where we started on top of the pipe and ended hanging underneath. <laughs> <laughs> and there's nobody there. Ooh. Oh. 
on the far side at the far edge of the uh, of the tower there is um a grappling hook and a rope hanging down oh so yeah i, I calm down she's gone there's a grappling hook and a rope all right supposed to come back then or not what we can do did it go over it's the easier to use the grappling hook to get down rather than shimmy across that yeah bike. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, uh, I probably, possibly. I'll, I'll, I'll let you. I'm not going. I'm not going to make you make you make another roll to get down. But okay. so you can you can choose which uh, which means of descent I'm you gonna, wish. I'm going to go across and use the grappling hook. And since I'm heading over that way, I'm going to see if she left any anything on the ground. Well, ground on the uh, the floor of the pipe or whatever that might be. Uh, so you can see you can see the imprint of where she's um, in the snow where she's where she, where she was laid overlooking overlooking the uh, this uh, office building. Mm -hmm. um, but there doesn't appear to be anything anything here. She's not left anything behind. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I'll blood. shoot me down the rope. Oh, sorry. Yes, good point. Yes, there is there is oh. some blood. Good point. I've forgotten you'd uh, you'd taken a shot. Yeah, there's mm. there's a patch of uh, blood in the snow. Get in. Well, I'm not touching it, knowing that somebody's got weird <laughs> blood microbes. That's not so the, probably that's about the so about where maybe where the uh, arm or shoulder uh, the like imprint of where the arm or shoulder was. Nice shooting text. Hmm. She's she's not left uh, any. Where did the like, rope I'm go? To? She's probably used a a bandage or something to stop herself bleeding and leaving any. Blood. Well, I mean, she. It looks like she grappled down from that spot. So, I mean, if I grappled down, there might be some sign. Yeah. I'll take a. Can look. we get round to the other side of the? Or do we have to go outside the wall to get to? Where yeah, you'd have to. Yeah, you'd have to go out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's I'm I'm coming down outside the wall. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah probably don't down. use the grappling hook then. <laughs> Maybe. No, I'll go ahead. I mean, we we no, did. You'll the separate yourself from us. We need earlier. to look. Uh... Okay. We, so... I can just. Well, it'd be a long walk for me to come all the way back. Yeah, let's like don't do that. Come back. But it's up to it's, it's up to you, Dante. You know, well, well, you got you got the comms, so it It'll depends if you want to if you're communicating that over the comms or not. Yeah, but yeah, you're the one up there, so. I still what's think the, I think we should check and see if she left a trail down there. So I'm I'm going to go down the grappling hook and I'm going to see. What's the worst could, that could happen? She could be standing at the bottom of the rope, aiming upwards. I'll look down before <laughs> I'm in. Okay, so I'm not trying to give the DM horrible ideas here, by the way. Uh, so what is Zimzinski and um, and um, and uh, Mason doing then? Well, we're going to cross, and obviously the whole point is not the. We're not an individual. We need to act as a unit. Uh huh. Yeah. So nobody does action without cover. You know what I mean? So, um, what are you doing? You follow him across? He's not moved yet. Let us get across to cover you. I mean, do we know if that door is working to the north? You can, you'd have to try it. So, they, they all operate on some kind of like, you know, like a bit of mechanism. For opening, they're not uh, they're not just like push open. They're not like kind of on runners. Yeah. It's not gonna work, is it? <laughs> it's hundred years. <laughs> this place is being shut down. So, uh, it's it's your call, Sarge. If you want to come up here and cover me while I go down, yeah, it makes you know what I mean. It makes sense. We're not gonna. All right. Start going off and let Johnson. We our own. did walk the perimeter outside before, and I can look over the edge to see if she's down there before I go down. Now, whether or not she's taken cover in something nearby and is ready to take anybody who comes after her, that's a different question. Yeah, that's why we act as a squad. You know. Okay. So give us a second. We'll get across then. Cover you. You go down, then we'll go down after you. Okay. So um, so if you two are going across, you'll have to both make a mobility check as you shimmy yeah, across. I knew that was coming. Uh, <laughs> one uh, go next. Oh, well, oh my god, no, 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 no. Nervous twitch. <laughs> nervous twitch. Um nervous twitch is stressful. So it doesn't say that you didn't so it doesn't cancel the action. So um so yeah, you're fine. 
you know, just like, you know, just looking down all of a sudden trigger something with the the blizzard and that I just get about. Uh, <laughs> oh, meanwhile, do you want to push that? So, Zerimsky, you you fail that, you're going to fall. Yeah, unless you want to push that, you'll be all right as long as he lands on his head. Yeah, I mean, I could fall, or that could push it, fail, and then fall even harder. <laughs> yes, you could. It's like fall and stress out at the same um, time. Hmm. We all need to go to a spa point. after this. Yeah, I do have a story. <laughs> we need to go to that nightclub. And like... can I, I can use that to make an automatic success. You can, you can, you can spend a story point to get an automatic success. You can indeed. If I push it and if I fail, can I still spend a story point to succeed? Um, no. I believe mean? so. Yeah, yeah. No, there's no. It's not like a luck thing where you can't. You can't push. Right. You can't well, try push. pushing it and then. Yeah, yeah. Story point is, for oh, fuck's sake, <laughs> spend your story point, film. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, you put that thought in the universe. So it's up. I know, right? Fuck you, you know. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> okay, so you, you slip and slide and struggle and to you know, take take well, you know twice as long as anybody should oh. take scrambling across this uh across this icy snow covered pipe. Yeah. Wimper, so, yeah. wimper. You're right down there, jelly roll. <laughs> <laughs> Yourself. <laughs> 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 so, was there, did you say that Dante was peer, uh, taking a look over the other side while they were coming, while they were making the way across, or we just? Um... Well, I did, but then I came back to to look at them and radio down what I was going to do. So, I yeah, imagine okay. I'll wait You're to see. Basically, we had the way get up so we can cover you, and then yeah, okay. We do have an active enemy working against us, so yeah. Okay, so um, so now they're across. They're finally across. Is, um, if, you to, is, if you go to chapter five of that manual in the private chat, you know, and tell you about <laughs> that stuff. <laughs> so Dante <laughs> climbing down the... Just <laughs> what? <laughs> is Dante climbing down the rope then? Uh, once they're up and in position, sure. Cool. Okay. So, um, so yeah, it takes you... Well, it doesn't take you long at all to get down the rope because you're going down. Um... I'm not going to make, make, make you make a roll. So you get to the bottom and you can see uh, you can see obvious tracks leading away from uh, leading away from the from the walls of the refinery. Uh, I mean, they're already becoming obscured by by the blizzard. Yeah, but sure. Um, I'm, I'm reading on uh, Captain Silver just saying, uh, sir. Yeah. Uh, they've escaped over the side of the compound with dead header. Is it a him and the watch? Wall check. We hit wall check. Uh, they're making. I wasn't void check. It was probably right. I saw a glint of a sniper scope, so uh, it was right. Oh, we're we're gonna pursue. I'm gonna ask uh, Sarniano to bring the APC round to pick us up. And give Copy us that. Wall checks at the compound, which is like the west side of the colony. Yep. So I'll uh, I'll say out to you and. Uh, I only this is uh, Mason over. Yeah, have you lost? Have you lost sight of uh, right over? Uh, yes. However, we've got tracks, so we're gonna we're in pursuit. Okay, the the special forces beware! They could be laying a trap for you over. Roger that. That's why we're covering each other. Uh, out to you. Uh, Iona, this is Mason, over. Okay. So. No, <clears throat> not answering. No comms. Oh. I said Iona. right to you. The ABC. Iona, this is Mason, over. Copy, Mason. Copy, uh, Sergeant. Bring, uh, currently in pursuit of one of the insurgents. Bring the APC round to west side wall. Uh, the R location. Over. Uh, Roger, Roger. I'll, uh, I'll get it started up and uh, head on over. Roger, right. Right, let's go. So what are we going to do with the... Um, um, I don't want to call them hostages. What are we going to do with the um, uh, captives? What are we doing with the captives? I don't know. What's it? Uh, We're going to question them a bit more, aren't we? What are you doing here? Cup of tea in a chat, and you know, just yeah. that how's life. 
you know, <laughs> being uh, taking part in any anti-government plots lately. That's it. What, what's, the usual. What's you PP doing here? What are you doing here? You know, why is there a sniper outside the window? Questions like that. Why did that idiot pull a grenade on us? Oh. So, so the UP, the two UP remaining UPP soldiers, although they, although they appear a little bit, a little bit unnerved, they still, they still refuse to talk. Mm -hmm. Being like the professional stamp, soldiers, salute. Would you like me to stamp on their testicles, sir? <laughs> I'm not governed by the Geneva Convention. Geneva public doesn't even exist anymore. No, no but I'll give them, I'll offer them a smoke each. The insurgents, the insurgents, the two, uh, the two colonists, the two insurgent members, on the other hand, are far more inclined to talk. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> they, 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 we, 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 we we're here to to oversee the handing over of, of one of the one of the marines Wojcik uh, to the to the UPP only Wojcik Wojcik wanted this or didn't know about this I, I don't know we we just we just here to we just here to to facilitate the handover we we we're here to to show good uh, show goodwill we it's like hey, we're war chicks over the compound. We wouldn't know. Why are you here then? Who's instructed you to be here? Right, they kind of kind of glance at each other. Botos. Okay. Botos is Botos is over at the compound. With war chick. Uh, yeah, so he nods. How well? Who, who else is over at the compound? Some of some of the some of Bochik's men. Uh, some of Bortus's men. Yeah, I need numbers. How many? Oh, maybe five or six. I'll fire around into the roof. <laughs> <laughs> um. Right. Okay. So okay, so I, I don't know. There's. Six, yes, yeah, six, six, and Bortos. I'm just going to loom slightly. There's six. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm not lying. There's just six of them. Six, both seven, including Bortos. Standing close enough so that you can see his friend's blood. And and this, and this and that Wolchuk woman, that Marine. Why is and what? Why is a friend outside on the roof with a sniper rifle? So he looks. He looks genuinely puzzled. He says, "I don't know what you mean. I don't know who. For, I, all I know is there's one marine at the compound." Okay. Uh, like I said, I'll move on to the UPP. I'll offer him a cigarette, and I'll say, "I am, you know, I get it. Your, so, your soldiers, just like us. That's cool." Uh, it's just because you fuck you, marine. Mighty fine of you to offer them a last cigarette, Captain. I mean, you, you, you offer him a cigarette. He let, lets you put the cigarette in his mouth and he just spits it out on the floor. <laughs> okay. Uh, right. Um it says, fuck you, Marine. We'll see the uh, we'll see you <laughs> suffer at the end of this. It's I'm wearing, I mean, Paul's I'm right. saying, if, if I'm wearing <laughs> if I'm wearing sap gloves, I take them off and offer them to the captain. <laughs> I, I'm hitting him with butter my pulse rifle. Okay, right. Ooh. Yeah, he he goes he goes down. It's like you can hear the hear the crack of his jaw as you smash yeah. the butt of the rifle into him, and he he still he still looks up at you with this like this look of disdain on his face. So, this is why you assholes are the scum of the universe. Mm -hmm. I was trying to reason with you, but if you want to play it that way, we'll play it that way. We need to stop them running. Uh, Says, what are you going to do, you way? You, are you going to kill us? Kill us then. Do it. 
He's oh. asking so nicely. Time. If you think we won't kill you, <laughs> you're seriously mistaken. You see one of the reasons that they call in when shit goes south. He says, what you do is not going to change anything. Change and what is going to happen regardless of what we do then? Yeah, it's, it spits it spits a like mouthful of blood at you, you fucking weird see you a is there a way i can intimidate him um you can't you can, you can use manipulation but you can't force somebody to do something they won't want they won't do yeah yeah, yeah. they pull you got poor rank and stuff but that's only for somebody um in your in your like uh, organization i'll try and manipulate him into like revealing something he don't want to reveal. But like I say, if it, if yeah. it's if it's something he doesn't want to do, they won't do it. Oh, no, but if he gets God. angry, he's oh, pretty dear God. Up. So you have to wind up. <laughs> oh, dear oh dear my God! <laughs> <laughs> you intimidated yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that makes oh, no sense. No. <laughs> no, no, well, obviously it's not, it's, uh, um, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, your attempt <laughs> fails, so, yeah, 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 you, 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 the see-through, you are, yeah, that, yeah, you are really clearly unnerved and unsettled, and you got no, you convey yeah. no level of authority at all as your voice quivers, uh, you, just, you, you fucking wait, see, you, you'll see. Okay. So there's two of them, yeah? Yeah. But your stress level has decreased by one. But the stress level of all friendly PCs, that's Mr. Hammer, goes up by one. Oh, God. Oh. Right. <laughs> fine. Fine. So you're kind of so like, you're just trembling, you're just shaking with like, uh, you know, maybe anger or like uh, stress. And just yeah. find, you know, just the, so much that you can't even speak. I'm trying to wind him up, and I'm winding myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> um, the, the, the UP, the UP, see, <laughs> see these, these UP, these UA, they, 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 they are spineless, they're pathetic. Look at them. Do you, do you think? Do you think it'd make him talk a bit more if I took my pistol out and put a bullet through his ankle? Um, Wait, if, if I blow his ankle out, he's not going to run anywhere, is he? The alternative is, of course, bolt to his leg. To his head, obviously. I don't think we're going to get much information out of them, Captain. No, I don't want <laughs> to get any information out of him. If they want to die. We may as well just kill them here. It seems to... it, it seems pretty clear that they're not going to. Yeah, that they're not going to talk. Or no. we could cripple them and just throw them outside in the cold. <laughs> We could. <laughs> so, <laughs> meanwhile, so, um, so Dante, you were climbing, you were climbing down the, uh, climbing down the road, weren't you? Uh -huh. Okay, so you can give it, give us an observation roll as you um, look at. Oh, you're already down there. We've done this. I've forgotten. Well, I'm down. down. I found the tracks. Yes. Um, yes. So you're going to try and follow the tracks, weren't Sarge you? Sarge called it in. Yes. So you can, so if you want to try and relay that information to Sarge, but <laughs> yeah. Just, but yeah. And nobody's listening. They're all going to like a uh, blind panic. Um, so you can, if you want, you can say uh, you can try and search for the try and follow, pick the tracks up, see if they see if you can try and you know, follow them. I didn't think a complete surrender and collapse of the enemy would cause such stress. <laughs> it might have been less stressful if I had fought back, right? Do, do, um, I, do you know, I, I, I mean, I'll you know try, what? I'm I, not built for I'm, this, but I'm, I'm actually feeling a bit guilty because it's all my fault because I suppressed them. It's like, no, hey, nice, no. okay. So, yeah, you can do you, like I said, the tracks are fading fast, getting covered by the by the uh, by the snow, uh. But you, yeah, you can pick. You can st for the, for now. You can pick them. You can still pick out the trail that she's left, and maybe the odd spot of blood. Which way is she heading? She is heading um, southwest. Ooh, towards the west or district west, isn't she? Well, potentially, rough, gen generally in that in that general direction. Whether she's that's where she's heading or not is another thing. Oh, I know what's going on. 
but I'm not in the office building to have heard all that stuff from the UPP, so. Yeah. So what's, uh, what's Mason and uh, Zemski doing? Well, we're following up behind. We'd have, yeah, we'd be with... Okay, Anthony. you're following up. Down. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. So you're heading, you're heading away? There's I, no sign of the APC yet? Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll follow as long as I can, but I mean, I don't know that we're going to be able to catch her. Oh, shit. No, that's what I'm I'm there's no way she'd just she's fucking on walk foot. out of here. Because he shows it on foot, the vehicle track. Okay. So well, that's, uh, that's what I'm hoping we're going to run into is vehicle tracks. But there's like, like Jetpack says, there's really probably no way that she's going to walk out of here. But who knows? Jetpack. So basically, we're going Jimewski. to keep because the APC Not that is fucking coming. hard. Slim Jim? Kipper. <laughs> eat shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then eat shit. We've settled on the name. Right. Okay. So give, give, us, a, give us another observation check, then, I think. Mm. Nope. Uh, anybody? Can anybody do that? Or. Uh, yeah, I well, yeah. I pointed it out to them. Like, yeah, sorry, sorry. You can, you, yeah, you've got two. You got two guys with you, so you can you can do it with a yeah. There we go. I'll do that. that. Okay. Do yeah, that. Bonus. Bonus. That'll, that, so that'll do. So <laughs> James Dean did it. <clears throat> so yeah, the, you follow the tracks to um, to the ruins of a small of a small um, small building. Looks like an like an old like maybe an old maintenance building, and. Down, down once to one side with a sheet, a tar, a sheet of tarpaulin pulled across it. You can see, uh, you can see a wildcatter, little uh, small wildcatter, catter, mm. little truck, Ooh, vehicle. Okay, yeah. And there's only um, there's only maybe a few inches of snow on on covering the tarpaulin as a as opposed to like feet, you know, a couple of feet of snow everywhere else. Uh -huh. And the track um, through this, the lead into this, um, oh, the, into the oh. doorway of this, uh, this old, this old maintenance building. Oh, okay. And as you approach, a figure steps into the steps into interviewing the doorway, and straight up, <clears throat> the sl the the right shoulder slightly, yeah. slightly slouched. Yeah. Mm. Yep. So that's fine. We'll yeah. <clears throat> cover she carry any weapons? Or whoever it is carrying any weapons. So you can see, you can see a rifle, but it's slung over a shoulder. It's not. Yeah, drop the not good. fucking gun. Mm. Is that a dramatic place? It's twenty past twelve here. Okay, okay yeah, I suppose that is a dramatic place. <laughs> as you, uh, so yeah, as um, yeah, she steps um, steps into light, and you see um, where are we? She got an alien head. <laughs> <laughs> so you see you see Lance Corporal Wright and she she carefully she she puts one one hand up and puts uh, carefully takes uh, this sniper rifle which you can see along the barrel of it there's like nicks there's like a oh, couple, a good, good good 20 nicks scored into the into the like uh, barrel mm. of the rifle and she she holds one hand, hand up and, and puts the rifle gently and, and with some kind of you know, amount of um, affection, puts this rifle to one side. Oh God, it's Hammer's wife. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, that, that, that rifle's our son, Daniel James. <laughs> Does she say anything profound to end on, or is it a case? So she's of, she's got of she's so she's kind of got this confused, slightly frightened, surprised to see she looks slightly frightened, Ooh. and she says. I need your help. There's a monster in my chest. <laughs> We're going to extract it now. <laughs> <laughs> God, I thought you... wow. That's okay. I've got the extraction tool. It's a uh, yeah. grenade launcher. <laughs> wow. Uh, is that is that the ending? Is that? Where uh, I guess I guess that's the ending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess that's the ending. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> Yes, that's the ending. <laughs> there we yeah. go. God, this is a... 
Um, I saw Oliver and Jake there in the chat talking about uh, spoilers. Like, no two, no he's playing this like we're playing it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> right, guys, there you go. Um, thanks very much for everyone that tuned in the chat there uh, across all platforms. Everyone's been busy, and uh, thanks everyone for playing. We will thank you very much. Up. Oh, sorry. I was just going to say thank you very much to Brian for like draw, for helping us out yeah. in the last minute. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Much appreciated. Yeah. Much appreciated. Oh, appreciated. Not to do the craziness. <laughs> <laughs> ah, just say then. Keep up the channel. Do the typey clicky things. And until next time, keep it creepy. Keep it horrific. <laughs>